uh, go live. All right, going live. Apparently, apparently, I'm live. I'm I'm alive. That's that's good to know. Uh, let me check. Am I am 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 I really live? Is is there anyone in the chat that can confirm that? <laughs> hang on. And oh, hang on. Oh, oh, it's working. Okay, good. Can uh can you hear me okay? Yeah, yeah, first try. Well, I have done this before, but quite a while ago. Can you hear me okay? And can you can you hear the game and can you see me and can you hear the game? Can you see and hear everything? <laughs> the vol volume's good. Excellent. Is this all I need? Just 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 the game and me and and anything else? Yeah, it's 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 been a while been a while since I've uh, since I've done this. I don't I don't normally live stream. Um, it just it it make it makes me nervous because because I never because I never know what I'm going to say. <laughs> the K game sounds a bit trippy. Yeah, that that that's 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 the sound of uh, water dripping dripping and echoing in the cave. Hey, Dark Neko Studio, how, how's, how's it going, mate? <laughs> what? Unfortunately, you can see and hear the game. Why, unfortunately? Do you, do you not like this game? How 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 can you not like this? Uh, if, if anyone doesn't know, I, I mean, I'm sure everyone everyone knows what Colossal Cave is. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's the first game from Ken and Roberta Williams in uh, quite a long time. Ever, ever since the days of uh, Sierra Online, so of course, uh, you know, of course, I'm personally very, you know, been very excited about it. Uh, I have already played this game uh, several times, just just let you know. So this is not like a blind playthrough. Like like the main, like the main uh, objective here is to see if I can get maximum points because uh, I still haven't. Wait, you. Oh, you can see deep into my soul. Thank, thanks, Dave. That's that's my friend, friend Dave there from Spain. <sighs> um. All right. So, 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 what am, what, like, what am I, what am I doing now? Am I just gonna start a new game or what? Is that, is that the idea? I got, I, I got, I got my, my orange, my orange Lucas aid. For energy. <sighs> oh, cool! I, I, I'm, I, I'm surprised at this, uh, this worked like first time. Um, my, my friend, uh, my friend, pretty, pretty old pixel there, like helped help me to set this up yesterday. Because he, he, uh, he streams all the time in, in, in German. I'm supposed to click new game. I, are you sure? <laughs> that's that's like the first puzzle. The first puzzle. Hmm. What do, what do I do? <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. Just watch me drinking. I I don't really have much to eat. I I have some uh, cream eggs. I have Lu Lucasade and cream eggs. Dave, Dave. What do you, what what uh what delicacies are you eating today? Uh, all right, new game. All right, would you like instructions? Okay, now this this, this is actually uh, an important decision. Um, so basically, uh, usually I, I would just read the instructions because um, you you would think that that would be well, you know, just to give you some tips on on the controls, like how to play the game. Um, if you're going for maximum points, which is what, what I'm doing now, uh, you actually have to say no, because if you say yes, um, and you read the instructions, uh, it actually deducts, uh, five points from your starting score, which I think is totally unfair. And I, I actually, I, I pointed this out, uh, you know, to, uh, to the developers. And so I thought that, well, you know, like it, 
it, it should at least tell you that it should say would you like instructions like you know uh, you know warning saying yes we'll lose some points um because otherwise what will happen is like you'll say yes and then you'll play play through the, the entire game thinking that you're going to get maximum points and then realize at the very end that you're short and not not understand why so i think uh i i, I don't i don't really approve of, of this decision um but uh, but you have to say no uh yeah 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 no no way yeah it, it's true because you start off with um i think 32 points at the beginning of the game for whatever reason and if you choose this okay so let, let's say if i say yes all right let me just say yes somewhere nearby is colossal camp. all right and then it just you know it, tell, it, it tells you some stuff and then you start the game um and you see in the top left corner you start off with 27 points you're standing at the out you're of, stand, uh, you're at the end of the road again um but if you said no you start with 32 so let's uh oh wait do i have to quit now hang on do i have to quit the entire oh no wait new game sorry okay let's start that again yeah, you can spend points on hints, which is different. Um, you can get hints like during the game, and it, it does actually warn you um, before you do that that you're gonna like lose some points, which I think is totally fair. Um, but uh, this is different. Like I always feel that instructions instructions is like different from hints. Instructions is more like you know uh, telling you how to play the game. It's not like a hint, like telling you how to solve a puzzle or something. So you know. Oh, the game audio is too loud compared to me. Okay, let me put it down. All right. All right, so if you say no, uh, and we, we want to have the auto map. I'm not going to map it myself, and the auto map is actually really, really good. Um, so we definitely want the auto map. And... Uh, do I want to clear my existing maps and start new ones? Uh, yes, because I actually still have my old maps there, and I, I, I'm just going to start from scratch and let it let it uh, draw the maps again. So let's do that. See, look, there you go. See, now we start with 32 points. You are standing at the end of a road before a small brick building. How's the audio on the Around game? was a forest. A small stream flows out of the building and down a gully. Hey, hey, one short eye. I uh, I really love your uh, speed running videos. Hey, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. The, the narrator is very specific about uh, the hints taking uh, taking points away. So yeah, so that 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 was my points. That that was my points. That was my point <laughs> in reading the instructions. That like you know you shouldn't be penalized for that. I I think that's very that's very unfair. Uh, uh, apparently, like that's uh, something. From the original text adventure that was carried over that i think should probably have been left in the past um oh the game audio is still too loud really or, or is it just that i i'm too loud <laughs> okay I, I, I'll, I'll put it down a little bit all right all right so so here here we are here we are okay uh, so let's go. All right. First thing we want to do is, uh, when I enter this building here, the door is closed. All right. I think we got to open the door. There we go. All right. What do we got in here? What's this? There are some keys on the ground here. Now, any items that you can, uh, pick up, um, if, if you look at them, they'll kind of like, they'll shine every so often. Uh, to let you know that it's like an object that you can look at and pick up. Oh, hey, hey uh, you remember my Gabriel Knight videos? Oh, what you mean, like the travel video that I did? What do you mean? I, what do you mean I'm screaming? I'm just I'm talking in my normal voice. This isn't screaming. You want to hear me screaming? <laughs> now the game audio is too quiet. <laughs> uh, all right, come on. Well, all right, look, let me. Uh, let me raise the game a little bit and let, let me lower my voice just a little bit, okay? All right. There we go. All right, so we got the keys. We look in our inventory. Set of keys. There we go. Got the keys. The, uh, this is our auto map, which will which will uh, 
auto map everything as we're exploring. Uh, I, I cleared the map, so there's there's, there's nothing nothing there at the moment. So uh, uh, right. So let's see what else we got here. There is food here. All right. Take take the food. There is a bottle of water here. Uh, a bo bottle of water, and, and and you can see on the bottle um, the uh, the logo of uh, S Cygnus Entertainment, right there. I, I I think I think that would that would be a good promotional item for them to um, you know for for them to offer offer people because I, I I would I would def I would definitely buy that. There is a shiny brass lamp nearby. Okay, this this lamp is essential for exploring the cave. All right, and I think that's uh, that's it. You see rushing water, that won't work here. The uh, the narrator, by the way, is uh, J Jason Cryer, also known as uh, Gemini, uh, do does games. Like, and his 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 voice acting is uh, is really I, I think is really excellent in this. Uh, it re really really adds a lot to the game. Yeah, it, like, like, like the, th the thing about his voiceover is like he can make even the most mundane objects uh, sound uh, sound epic. Tasty food. Tasty food. Bottle of water. Bottle of water. Brass lantern. Brass lantern. See. Like they're not just ordinary they're not just ordinary items, just the way he says it. Oh, the audio is good now. Excellent. Okay. Look at uh, look at this view. You're in open forest with a deep valley to one side. Uh, unfortunately, we can't really uh, go out exploring. Like the the whole game takes takes place in the cave. So uh, if, if if you're claustrophobic, this this might not be the game uh, for you. Sorry, or or you could just stay out here and just admire the view. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can remember. Now, uh, if you go this way, I think this is this is a dead end. Yep. You have walked up a hill, still in the forest. The road slopes back down the other side of the hill. There is a building in the distance. All right, so we want to uh, we want to follow the stream here. <laughs> yes, a view from right, to... right, right, exactly. Yeah, sure. I thought this kind of looked like Spain. All right. Oh, look! There's there, there's there's the owl. Hmm. A large owl seems to be watching you. Uh, un unfortunately, you can't really interact with the owl. Uh, I, I, I was hoping that uh, the owl was uh, that you'd be able to talk to the owl, uh, like kind of like Cedric in uh, King King's Quest Five, but uh, it just kind of sits up there. I, I, I guess it's just kind of it's supposed to be, you know, kind of leading you uh, in into the cave. A large owl seems to be watching you. The grate is locked. All right. Hmm. What should, what should we do here? You can't go through a locked steel grate. Oh, right. Sure. We have to unlock it first, obviously. Okay. Set of keys. You have unlocked the grate. All right. We've 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 taken taken our first steps into the cave here. This is an opening into a cave. All right, are you sure we want to go in to the cave here? I guess so. You're in a small chamber beneath a three by three steel grate to the surface. A low crawl over cobbles leads inwards to the west. All right, now if we if we want to explore, uh, <laughs> no more poisonous snakes, please. Well, like. Uh, there is there is a snake in, uh, in 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 the cave though, it's not I don't well I I, I guess it's kind of poisonous although uh, I don't think it, it it doesn't really kill you that's the thing so uh, don't 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 expect uh, many uh, Sierra style deaths deaths in this game unfortunately. 
No points for unlocking the grate. No, I think um, I think most of the points you get is uh, just for um, uh, getting the treasures. So the, the the objective of the game, which uh, no one no one tells you, is uh, unless you read the instructions, obviously. But uh, yeah, so you have to find all of the treasures in the cave and bring them back to the uh, to the well house, which we uh, which we were just in. Uh, and I think there's like fifteen. Uh, treasures in total and I think like that that's where all the points come from so it's not so much uh, like solving puzzles it's more like finding the treasures and then like returning them uh, also there's a time limit um, once you turn on your lantern here and explore the caves uh, the lantern will run out uh, at some point it does it does give you quite a bit of time though so uh, I think if you know what you're doing like I am uh, hopefully um, like we should be okay. Uh, you can get more batteries for the lantern, uh, but you lose points for that. So uh, we want to see if we can do it uh, like the first time. So is there a VR version? Yep, there is. Uh, I haven't played it because I don't have a VR headset or anything. But uh, yeah, um, yeah, it'd be uh, certainly a different different experience play playing it in VR. All right. So we want to uh, light our lantern here. Brass lantern. The lantern is now lit. All right. So now, now we're uh, na now we're on the clock here. I'm I'm not doing like a speed run or anything because I'm not a, a, a speed runner. But uh, you know, I I will try not to get lost and to do things uh, as efficiently as possible. So, let's see. Uh, there should be a cage around here. There it is. There is a small wicker cage discarded nearby. All right. All this other stuff lying on the floor is just rubbish. Uh, so, we don't really need it. Um, they, anything that's important, like, will, uh, like, as I said, will uh, glow. Um, so, that, that, you know, that's how you know, like, you know, what items you can pick up. Uh, wait, no, that's a dead end. Is it this way? Here we are. Okay. It's, it's still it's still kind of dark, even with the lantern. Now there is something something in this detritus that we can. Uh, that we can there it is. You see you see that see that glow right there. It's this uh, this rod here. Uh, this game is out already. Yeah, yeah, it just came out uh, on Thursday. So it's only it's only a couple couple days old. Yeah. A three foot black rod with a rusty star on an end lies nearby. Alright, let's take that. Uh th there is a li limited inventory here, so um a anything that you don't need, like once you've used it. Black rod. Uh like you wanna you wanna drop it to uh, make more inventory space. Can't go this way. You can't go further west here. No. Nope. Uh, where's our map? Here we are. Okay, so we're in the debris room right now. Uh... Hmm. What's this? It says, Zizzy. Zizzy. Now, uh, e even if you haven't played the original text adventure, like you might know, you might have heard of uh, the magic word Zizzy. Um. So now, if we look at our inventory Black here, Zizzy. now we now we have that magic word. So if we try saying that, Zizzy, you feel a strange pulling sensation. Oh, we feel a strange pulling sensation. Just just like in King, I I appreciate that because it's just like in King's Quest uh, Six, like when You're when you use the, the magic house. map. Yeah, I always I always like it when I feel a strange pulling sensation. <laughs> All right, so so basically, when you say the magic word there, um, you get teleported back to the uh, to the well house here. Um, unfortunately, it only works in that room. You can't just teleport like any way you want. Um, and then if you say it Zizzy. again, you'll go Zizzy. you'll go back to where you were. You feel a strange pulling sensation. Oh, was the inventory in Fable limited? Hmm. You find yourself in the debris room. 
uh, some screens are laggy, really. Uh, it could be, I don't know, it could be my, my Wi-Fi connection. I, ho I hope it's not too bad. Uh, I'm right by the Zizzy stone right now. All right, here, here, here. We got to be careful not to, uh, not to die. There's like a steep drop, uh, right here. You're in an awkward sloping east-west canyon. Actually, let, let, let me just let me save the game here, and I, I'll show you what happens when you die. My goodness, that was a mighty fall. I, re I really, I really miss the old like Sierra Death messages. I might be able to help, but I've never really done this before. Do you want me to try and resurrect you? Okay, now now you you can be resurrected, but uh All right. But don't blame me if something goes wrong. Yeah, what what could go wrong? I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah, see when you get resurrected it puts you back at the beginning here. And you see our score is now dropped uh, by, I guess, 10 points or something, which is which is not good. You still have all of your items, but yeah, obviously you don't, you know, we don't want to do that. Uh, so we want to just load the game again. Okay, now we're back to 32 points. The, ma the magic of saving games... The bird was unafraid when you entered, but as you approach, it becomes disturbed. All right. Now, uh, what we have to do here is we have to um, we have to use the cage on the bird, but we can't. Black wicker cage. We can't get near enough to use it. That is useless right now. The little bird won't let you near it. Okay. Yeah. See, if you get too near, like it, 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 fly, it flies away. Uh, th this is a really obs this is a really obscure puzzle. Black like, uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if you can guess the re you know if you can guess the reason why the bird is scared of you, and 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 flies away. I I actually thought you see when I first played this, I thought rod. I thought that you had to kind of lure it into the cage, using some food or or something like that. But that's not the solution. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Save, save early, save often, right? Every, everyone knows that. Um, all right. So basically, uh, what what you have to do here is um, the uh, the bird obviously is uh, scared of the uh, that that rod that we picked up with a star. Um, not really sure why. Uh, so you actually have to drop the rod, and then you can get close to the bird. Um, black rod yeah so there see if we if we drop the rod there we move up see the bird the bird no longer flies away yeah uh, if you read the instructions it would actually tell you that so it, it's funny that they actually put that in the instructions because it's such a it's such an obscure puzzle and it comes right at the beginning beginning of the game yeah it's so oh something to do with the one like did you already know that or or, or, or what is that puzzle clearer in the original? Uh, I don't think so. No, that, that that's the thing about this game. It's 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 very faithful to the original. So basically, anything that was in the original is gonna be gonna be in this. I don't think there's like many changes that have been made. So you know, if that's what happens in the original, that that that's what happens here, whether it's logical or not, um, for better or worse. You know, you could catch the bird, but cannot carry it. All right, so now now we need to, to, cage. to use the cage here. Yeah. You have captured the bird. All right, and now we now we can pick up pick up the rod again. Someone didn't like some of the well, yeah, that that's like that's the most uh, obtuse puzzle, and it, it's just it's the fact that it comes right at the beginning of the game here, and I, I think that would, you know, that that's that's gonna put put some people off. You are in a splendid chamber. The walls, frozen rivers of orange stone. An awkward canyon and a good passage exit from the east and west sides of this chamber. 
I'm not really sure if if the stone is that orange though. It kind of it looks more like brown. And yeah, that that that's uh, that's certainly not orange. I, I I think they should make this uh th this chamber like more orange. That, that that that's that's my feedback. More orange. Hang on one sec. At your feet is a small pit breathing traces of mist. A white mist, usually water, seen from time to time in caverns. It can be found anywhere, but is frequently a sign of a deep pit leading down to water. So dark in here. What, what if we t what Look if we turned off the lamp? Lantern. You have turned off the lamp. It is now pitch dark. Uh, if you proceed, you will most likely fall into a pit. Yeah. Okay. That's that's too dark. AGG feedback is gospel. I wouldn't say it's gospel, but it's just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying that, you know, uh, yeah, like I, I, I don't know how that puzzle is uh, logical at all. Well, I mean, okay, I guess. Well, no, okay, it's not. <laughs> it's not logical. <laughs> Brass lantern. A lot of what reviews criticize the game design is present in the original. Yeah, I, I, honestly, I, I do have to agree with that. I, I you know, I, 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 I really appreciate games that are faithful to the original source. You know, like, like how um, uh, Indiana Jones and the Lost Crusade game is, is quite faithful to the original movie. But it's, it's not, like, exactly the same. I mean, I think you have, like, some license, uh, you know, to change things or improve things, update things. I mean, yeah, this is a text adventure from 1976, so you know things are things have changed uh, since then. You know, or or you can have two. You, you can have a, uh, an option. You know, you can play the original the game as it was originally designed, or you can play like a kind of more updated one that kind of removes some of the more frustrating uh, aspects of it. You have two different modes. You have a, like a hardcore hardcore mode and like a you know modern mode or something like that. You know. Um, Brass lantern. The lantern is now lit. Anyway, I thought this play playthrough was going to be short, but it, it might not be. And they, if, if you uh, if you speed run this game, you can do it in um, like an hour or so. Uh, my friend Joshua from Weird Gaming Adventure uh, uh, played it in about an hour and got maximum points already. So uh, you know he, he he's he, he's already the grand the grand the grand the grand master of adventure gaming because he got maximum points but uh ho ho hopefully i'll do that today i don't know i there's no guarantees you can you can see it in my face what's it, what if you succeed what 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 what, 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 what can you see i don't know can 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 you see success or can you or, or can you see something else? <laughs> All right. Uh, let me see. Anyway, here's our first first encounter. Oh, gold treasure. Okay, we 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 want that. <laughs> Where'd he go? He just, he just he just disappeared into the ground. I didn't know dwarves dwarves could do that. And he just ran away. Like why? M maybe he was afraid of the rod too. Although, although I don't think it makes any difference. There is a large sparkling nugget of gold here. All right, it's our, it's our first uh, our first treasure. Oh, now this uh, this sign here, uh, you won't get it up the steps. It says, you won't get it up the steps. Okay, that actually refers to the uh, to the gold nugget. Um, the fact, I, I guess, because it's so it's so heavy, um, we can't actually carry it up the steps that we just came down. So uh, we have to find an another way to get it out of the cave. You could never pull it out, no matter how hard you try. A pickaxe is stuck in the rock. The 
looks like an old miner's helmet. It's broken and useless. All right, yeah. Like, s s some of the stuff here is is just just background that like you can't do anything looks with like it. Coal. Don't dirty your hands with it. You're in a low room. Veins of gold cover the walls. All right. Uh, so yeah. So if we try going up back up the steps here. Those steps are unclimbable while carrying that heavy gold nugget. Right, so yeah, it, it does actually tell you that you can't do that. Uh, let's let's leave the nugget here for now, and uh, we'll, we'll we'll come back to it. <laughs> it's Doerum's helm, right? D Doerum from uh, uh, Eye of the Beholder. Large gold nugget. Uh, I'm not sure how to how to respond to a blank life's uh, comments there. All right, so uh, okay, so we just drop that here for now. Um, let's see, cause cause you love me, really? Okay, well, thank you. A little dwarf, watch out! All right, now we should be able to pick up the axe that he threw, I think. Oh, where is it? There it is. There is a little axe here. Okay. There must be a way to cross this fissure. Hmm. Uh, this uh, th this solution is is uh, more more obvious than than the bird. <laughs> that dwarf's got some bad aim, right? It's it, it's uh it's it's kind of it's kind of random. Like basically, what happens is like those dwarves, uh, you know, dwarves like randomly show up and uh, throw some knives at you, and uh, it's it's random whether they hit you or not. Um, you can fight back, which is which is what what we're gonna do. Um, so, uh, let's see. Brass lantern. All right, so, so, so what do you, like, what do you think we have to do to, to get across this fissure? Why am I, why am I ignoring you? I'm not, but I don't, I don't know how to respond to all of your comments, sorry. Why don't, why don't you tell me how to, how to, how to get across this fissure? <laughs> Drop the wand. <laughs> that's, that, that's the solution to every, every puzzle in the game. Drop the wand. Black rod. Let's see. Well, close. Close. So what you do Black is you, rod. you can, uh, let's say, use the wand. That won't work here. Uh, well, you should be able to. There we go. A crystal bridge spans the fissure. There you A go. A crystal bridge spans the fissure. Uh, now I think uh, I think we can now drop black rod. Drop the one because not yeah the rod because uh, we don't need it anymore. One thing which I which I thought was cool but uh, it, it kind of gets annoying is that. Every time you scroll over an item, it it, it uh, tell, tells you the name of the item. Dwarf's axe, black rod. Dwarf's axe, black rod. Like every time, so like every time you have to hear. Tasty food, set of keys, brass lantern. And I do I do love the narrator's voice, but I gotta say that that does get annoying after a while. <laughs> learn, learn to fly. Good, nice one. <laughs> that yeah yeah. Uh, no, unfortunately you can't do that. <laughs> Birds hate crystal bridges. Right, it, yeah, yeah, it, it, it all, it all makes sense. It all, it all, it all, it all connects. Black Rod. Alright, um, let's not go over there quite yet, though.
Uh, now, uh, you might recognize this music as the, uh, the Hall of the, the Mountain. Hall of the Mountain. Yes, Hall of the Mountain. Passages off in five directions. Th this is the music, uh, who, who composed this music? What's the composer's name? Gre Grieg? Is it Grieg? Sorry, sorry, I, sh I should know that. Anyway, but yeah, th like this is this is called cool, called the Hall of the Mountain King. You can see these old statues of I don't know, I guess some some ancient ancient kings or something. <laughs> I'm not I'm not really sure. They, like like there should be some some plaques or something to tell it to tell you who like you know who, who these statues were. Uh, it remind, reminds you of the witness. Oh, I, I I haven't played that. I'm not familiar with it. Oh, and they both use that song. Yeah, th uh, th this this is the throne. Uh, this I guess this used to be the throne of the Mountain King. Could this have been the king's throne? I I guess I guess so. Yeah. Now I I I was expecting that you know at some point the uh, the Mountain King would uh, you know would appear on the throne or something and maybe you'd have to kind of you know make some offerings to him or something like that but uh, no. Dwarf's Axe. Uh, let's see, where am I going here? Oh, uh, at the top you can see the uh, compass direction uh, which you're facing, which is actually quite actually quite helpful. A huge green fierce Oops. snake bars the way. All right, now here uh, you can see uh, you can go right up to the snake here and not die, uh, which is uh, which is kind of unusual uh, for uh, for a Sierra game. I mean, this isn't the Sierra game; it's a Cygnus Entertainment game, but still. Uh, did I play the Vanishing of Ethan Carter? No, uh, uh, actually, I I haven't I haven't played that one. No. Uh, uh, would you like? Would you would you recommend it? Uh, okay, so now, that, like, the next thing we have to do is we have to figure out how to get past uh, the snake. Um, and the, like the snake appears at every, yeah. See, the snake disappears, but every time you get near, it'll re reappear again. And then if you try try going to another exit here, yep. See, so it it kind of blocks your exit. Uh, it blocks all the exits from this uh, this chamber. <laughs> look, look, hey, hey, Brett. <laughs> look for a bridle. <laughs> right, Brett. Brett's referring to uh, uh, yeah that that great moment in King's Quest uh, King's Quest Two when you throw a bridle on a snake and it turns into a winged horse. Yep, yep. A totally logical thing, which I think is is based on some kind of mythology, I guess. But uh, yeah. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna have to deal with this uh, with the snake here. Yeah. With this this snake right here, uh, you can actually sneak past the snake. Uh, like there is a way of doing that. Like there you go. See now you you can you, you can actually get past the snake, uh, just in that exit there. But like I think we just want to we want to take care of it so it doesn't uh, it doesn't show up again. Hey hey D four day what's up? Long time no see. Yeah sorry. I I I would love to watch more of your live streams, but but you don't uh, you don't often live stream adventure games, <laughs> so I'm sorry. Other, 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 otherwise I otherwise I'd watch more of your streams. Sorry. <laughs> yeah 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 yeah. I'm good. I'm I'm excited excited to play play this game and hopefully get maximum points. I'll be very disappointed if I don't. I'm I'm, I'm taking longer than I uh than than I should really here, yeah. because I you know I'm afraid my lantern's gonna run out. All right. So how do we do, how do we deal how do we deal with this Wolf's snake axe. this snake here? Well, obviously, like everything is connected. So now we have little to use in the, cage. the bird, li the little bird in the cage on the snake. There we go. 
The little bird attacks the green snake, and in an astounding flurry, drives the snake away. There you go. That, that's that's how you that's how you deal with snakes. You just get a little bird to to chase them away. Uh, do I have a girlfriend? Wait, you, you, are you talking to me? Yeah, I do. It's Dragon White Fly, and she's she's in the chat. Yeah. Anyway, all right. I don't think we need the cage anymore, so we can just we can just leave it there. Yes, my hair my hair is white. It it, it is turning a little white. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm 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 getting older, unfortunately. In 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 interesting chat blank life. <laughs> the axe is no good. Yeah, I, I don't think you can use. Uh, you can't use the axe. There is precious jewelry here. All right, we found some. We found some more treasure. Okay, so yeah, so at the moment we're at sixty-one points. Uh, you'll not love me anymore. What? Who me? <laughs> Sorry. Would that be the ancient mountain king? Don't disturb the dead. Yeah. So if if that if uh, if that's the mountain king, what we should be able to do is to is to pick up this uh, skeleton and move move it over to the to the throne over there, and then and then we can put the mountain king back on his throne. <laughs> I, I I already I already love Roberta. Well, uh, well, yeah. I mean, I I I, ha I have been a fan of Roberta Williams, uh, you know, for a long for a long time. Yeah, that's that's true. Yeah, I, I first found out about D Forte's videos. Like I, the f first video of his I watched was his Shannara review, because like when I did my review of Shannara, I think I think I, w I watched his video. That was like a long time ago, right? D Forte, like, didn't you do that video? Like, I don't know. S five six years ago or something. How how yeah? How do I ban ban? How do I ban spammers in the chat? C come on come on blank life. Don't uh, don't spam my chat, will you? Come on. Ugh. Well, you see, you see, you see, I'm not, I'm not used to live streaming, so I'm not used to banning spammers. Uh. All right. Let's see. What am I doing now? Precious jewelry. All right. Let's go. Where's the other exit? Nope. Yeah, Shinara was yeah, it was like six years ago, right? Wow. Uh, okay, like I, I, I'm, I'm gonna have to ban uh, Blank Life if, if you don't, uh, kind of, you know, if, if, if you don't stop all that. Come on. There are bars of silver here. Yeah, sorry. Well, okay. It said you hear the word plu. Okay, now uh, this this is another uh, another magic word, uh, just like uh, zizzy. And so, let's see. So if we say plu, plu. right here. Clue. You feel a strange pulling sensation. You're back in the well house. All right, so it, uh, it basically does the same the same thing as Zizzy. Um, all right, so what we have to do here is to start dropping our uh, treasures in the well house here. Precious jewelry. So like the precious jewelry. 
we can we can place it so we, yeah we just put it on the shelf here uh, same with the bars of silver bars of silver and let's see what else what else is a treasure oh that's it okay hang on clue clue you feel a strange pulling sensation I think I'm gonna grab the uh, that golden nugget before I forget and just uh, just put it in there you're back in the y2 room how, how many people are watching this uh, stream out of interest I'm just curious because I'm not I'm not really looking Oh, is there an explanation for the magic words? I, I don't know. I, I don't know if they really mean anything or if they're just kind of made up, made up words. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I just, I just thought they were made up words. Fourteen, not, not bad. See, I, I, I didn't think I'd get more than like ten, uh, ten viewers. If, if there's any lurk lurkers in, in, in the chat, please comment. Just or, or just, just just say hi and then and then that's it. Or just say a magic word and 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 that's it. Just just so I know that you're there, you know. Because it's, it's always good to have companions companions in the cave. Oh, 17, Wow. All right. Uh, let's see. Where's the nugget? Here it is. All right. So we want to take that, uh, just take, yeah, we might as well drop that off now. And I think, I think we want to drop, uh, some other items which we're not going to need until later. So the keys, keys. we're not going to need until later, and also the food. Tasty food. So I'm going to drop those here for now. Hey Shadowfire, how, how's it going? <laughs> Shadow Shadowfire was lurking, lurking in the shadows until I actually said, "Like, okay, p people should start saying hi." <laughs> Spanktron, is that is it is uh, is that a magic word? Just just imagine if you had to say that, um, like every every time, like you teleported. <laughs> Abracapocus. <laughs> Abracapocus. I, I I tell you what, like I think like people should just like make up some uh, some like magic words in the chat. Yeah, it'd be a cool experience in VR. Yeah, I I, I did try out uh, VR when I went to uh, PAX West. Um, in I, I tried out the VR version um, there, but uh, I I was I was terrible at it because I've never used VR. Like it's a totally different control system, so oh, ba Barrow Hill in VR, yeah, yeah, definitely. All right, I don't know why this uh, stone says Y two. Uh, I don't know. Clue, clue. You feel a strange pulling sensation. Stinky? Is that a ma how is that a magic word? <laughs> You're back in the well house. All right, let's drop the Large nugget. Gold nugget. All right, great. It's it's actually really satisfying um, to like you know see all the all the kind of treasures collected here. So this kind of becomes like the treasure house. <laughs> Enna Benigno add what? Fangly. What is what does that mean? <laughs> clue. Clue. You feel a strange pulling sensation. You're back in the Y2 room. All right. Okay, we're good. All right, so uh, let's see. Now, if we go over here. Oh, um, there's, I, I'm missing, uh, there's like a, there's a few achievements that I'm still missing. Um, 
one of them I think you might be able to get here. Um, let's see. So yeah, so if you look through this uh, through this window here, you can see like a shadow on the other side. The shadowy figure seems to be trying to attract your attention. There's no use for that here. And I'm not really sure what to do with that. Um, maybe you have to find your way to like the other side here. I'm not really sure because like, there's, there's nothing else you can really do. Like you can't, you know, you can't talk to the shadow or or anything. So, yeah, um, I kind of missed something to do with that. Uh, let's see. All right, where 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 am I going exactly? Uh, good question. See, see, I I've played this game a few times before, but like it's it's so easy to get uh to get lost in this game, uh, which is why like a map is so is so essential. Oh, you, oh, you do you recommend the vanishing of Ethan Carter? Okay. Uh, let's see. I don't think you. I, this way is blocked. Maybe you can fit through this small crack. Mm, do I want to do that? I don't know. You find yourself in the hall of mists after squeezing through a tight crack. Ah. Oh, and then and then that puts you right right back here, like at the bottom of the stairs. Can we go you back? You can't find the crack you just came through. Oh. Okay. Yeah. See, like th that's like a one-way crack. <laughs> right there so yeah like uh that, that's just an example of how you, you you can go go in one place like come out another place and you can't go back again so you know like it's very very easy to get uh you know lost how long have i been playing now 45 minutes already damn see like if, if you if you speak there's a threatening dwarf oh damn a sharp knife is thrown. It missed. All right. Okay. So the dwarf just missed me. Uh. So here, here's how you fight back dwarf against axe. against the dwarves. You have to use uh their own axe against them. Dwarf's axe. You have vanquished a little dwarf. Yeah, that's how you do it. And then pick up the axe again. Right. That's that's how you deal with, deal with the dwarves. Uh. I, I I think if if you keep killing them, I think uh. Uh, they don't stop coming, but I think uh, they don't come as frequently. So. Uh, where shall I go? Hmm. Let's go this way. I think there's some more treasure over here. Yep, some coins. There are rare coins here. Oh, you get points for looking at the treasures first have I, have I been doing that the whole time with all of the treasures I hope so there are rare coins here because I don't I don't know if it works if it's see if it's already in your inventory like m m maybe I already screwed it up like have I been looking at all the treasures there's more than seven dwarves <laughs> yeah I, I don't know like there's like an infinite number of dwarves I also don't understand like why the dwarves you can't even communicate with the dwarves and like they just attack you without any provocation i don't get it this is an altar a place perhaps of ancient rituals yeah that's why there was some coins on there uh okay i, re I really hope i didn't uh, i didn't miss any miss any points by not not looking at a treasure or something like that 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 would really suck I, I, I'm I'm not guaranteeing that I'm going to get maximum points at all. In fact, I'll be surprised if I do. Oh, is this a dead end? This is a dead end. Yeah, it's a dead end. Okay, thank you, thank you for that. Uh, where are we? Uh, I do know what I'm doing in this game, sort of. Oh, oh! You actually played the vanishing of Ethan, Ethan. 
card. Yeah, Ethan Carter. Oh, you did? <laughs> the dwarves think you're an elf, right? <laughs> Alright, I think if you go this way, uh... You go, there's, there's like a, there's a couple mazes and there's like one maze you can get kind of trapped in if you don't know, don't know what you're doing. I don't know if it's this one though. Or, or maybe it's here. Hmm. No, it's, it's here I think. Yeah, I don't think we want to go south here. I think we just went around in a circle there. All right. Okay, never mind. Let's uh, let's go back again. Some 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 o ominous music canyon, which runs east and west. It crosses over a very tight canyon, fifteen feet below. If you go down, you may not be able to get back up. All right, well let, let's just let's stick uh, stick up here then. An immense passage looms to the west. Hmm. Okay. So, like, we we have a passage with uh, a statue of a dragon over it. Hmm. I what? I wonder what's in here. <laughs> you are above a tall east-west canyon. You see. Let's let's save the game. All right. Uh, if if you didn't already know, there's a dragon in this game. Hey, hey, Daniel, what's up? Yes, very, very ominous music, and it's going to be a really uh, ominous dragon coming up here. There, there it is. Oh wait, it's asleep. Uh, I think as soon as you walk in there, it's going to wake up. Oh, 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 oh! You thought you thought thought about the magic spell? What'd you come up with? Wongo Z Tango. <laughs> I can I can see you really thought about that one. <laughs> That's, that's that's actually pretty that's pretty good that's, I, I like it <laughs> all right let's let, let's do let's deal with this dragon here watch out a huge dragon snoozes atop a beautiful Persian rug oh it's snoozing I thought oh oh, oh. oh we, we woke it up Hello, fellow adventurers. Hey, hey, how, how's how's it going, uh, Nikolai? Yeah, yeah, I I can I can read uh, I can read Russian. Yeah, I've been following your YouTube channel for a long time now. A huge green fierce dragon bars the way. Okay, uh, we got to be careful here. Actually, actually, we don't have to be careful because we can go right up to the dragon. And it's not going to kill us. Watch. The dragon looks rather nasty. You'd best not try to get by. So, yeah, I don't know. That's not 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 terribly realistic. I mean, like when 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 can you ever stand in front of a dragon and it doesn't kill you or breathe fire or anything? A huge green fierce dragon bars the way. Come on, breathe fire at me. Attack a dragon. Come on. With your bare hands. It's oh. reckless to try that. Well, they breathe fire, but not at me. Alright, come on. Come on. 
Alright, what, what, what am I gonna do? Come on. Congratulations. You just vanquished a dragon with your bare hands. Unbelievable, isn't it? Alright, uh... Yeah, that, that was kind of an anti-climax right there, I thought. Um, you know. Uh... <laughs> again, again, like that's uh, that's something that happens in the original game, and it's just kind of I don't know. It kind of kind of takes the piss a bit. Um, what's that? Seems like you can see behind its eyes when you're up close. Oh, really? Like you can see into its head? Is that like like should should I, should I, should I reload and, and and check that out? Sorry, let, let, let me let me reload so I can check that out. I I want to see inside a dragon's head to see what see what it's thinking. Whoops! What was that? What happened? Oh! I'll just take all this booty and hide it away with my chest deep in the maze. Oh yeah, the, okay. We get we get to see the pirate there. All right. Now, uh, yeah, like that's another random encounter, a bit like the dwarves. Uh, the pirate sometimes shows up and uh, steals your. Uh, your treasure uh you actually want him to do that um because then you have to go um and find the treasure in the maze you can also steal his treasure chest um so what's that you've killed over 20 dragons yeah w yeah what do you just punch them in the head all right. Okay. So there, there we go. Okay. Let's uh, let's do this now. The dragon looks rather nasty. Oh, you can't sneak There's sneak no by it. By. A huge, a huge green fierce dragon bars the way. Oh, you mean like at the back of the eye? Hang on. See. Oh. Uh... Yeah, I, I I see what you mean. You can you can almost see see inside it, like at the back of the eye there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a sh it's a shame we can't do anything anything else with the with the dragon here. Come on, kill me! Kill me! I'm here! Kill me! Nope, it's not gonna do it. Have coffee, kill a dragon, then go for a stroll. <laughs> a huge green attack a dragon with your bare hands. Only someone reckless would try that. Congratulations, you just vanquished a dragon with your bare hands. Unbelievable, isn't it? Yep, yeah, that's definitely definitely unbelievable. It's so it's so unbelievable. I don't quite know what to what to say about that. I I, I feel like, like I, this this is a good uh, a good example where it's like you know you could have taken that from the original, and you know you could have made it into a puzzle where uh, you know you had to find a gauntlet, a special gauntlet that you use at least to punch the dragon. So at least it kind of makes sense. I mean, uh, otherwise it's kind of kind of it's just kind of taking the piss really. <laughs> Get to the chopper! <laughs> a huge defeated dragon is lying off to one side. You don't want to beat a defeated dragon. It's had a hard enough day as it is. Uh, I, I, feel, I feel sorry. I feel sorry now for the dragon. But we have to do it. There is a Persian rug here. There is a Persian rug here. All right. Please, please tell me I've been looking at all the all the treasures. Persian rug. Because you can't look Persian at them in the rug. inventory, and it'll give you points like that. Again, I, I don't, I don't really, I don't think that's quite fair. I, I, I was hoping to complete this in one run, but uh, I'm not so sure now. Looks like an old passage, now blocked by boulders. <laughs> you are the gauntlet. <laughs> That's right. Can you pet the dead dragon? No, it just says, uh, just leave it alone. 
You don't want to be to defeat a dragon. Nah. It's had a hard enough day as it is. That's it. Dra dra dragon defeated. Okay, let's let's move on, shall we? We're not here to defeat dragons. We're here to find uh, find treasure. You know. We're on a peaceful treasure finding mission. <laughs> Persian rugs rugs are, are dank. <laughs> I I never really thought is is Persian is a Persian rug considered a treasure? I never really thought Persian rugs were like considered treasures the same as uh you know gold and jewels and and all of that. You get points for looking before taking. I I I guess so. I think it's unfair though that uh, if you don't look at it before you take it, you can't get those points back. The mirror is obviously provided for the use of the dwarves, who, as you know, are extremely vain. All right, now here you can see there's like this mirror here, and you can see these two uh, windows. And so remember, like before when we saw like the shadowy figure, like that's what we saw. It's I, uh, I don't really, I don't get this though. It's just like you've got these two windows looking at this huge mirror just like hanging there and it's like what you're seeing is your own reflection right uh but i don't i don't get it like what what's what's the point like it's just it's supposed to show you that dwarves are vain so dwarves are both vain and they also like attack you without provocation i don't know this isn't putting a very a very good light on dwarves here i think i think dwarves are getting a bad bad rap from this game Where are all the dwarves? But they just pop up. Yeah, yeah, they just pop up randomly. But I feel I feel like you should see. Um, I thought there were some dwarves here, like uh, at the at the reservoir. Are they not? Oh, I thought there were like some dwarves at like the boat here, like getting the boat ready or Be something. Be careful. You don't want to fall in here. This is the great underground uh, reservoir, the reservoir room. A rowboat is tied to a small dock. Nothing happens. Unfortunately, as far as I know, you can't take the boat and like sail into the reservoir. So, I don't know. I'm not really sure what the point of this reservoir is exactly. I don't think it's not really. I don't think there's anything you can do here. Hey, hey, Winterion uh, Game Studios, How, how's it going? Enjoy de delving the cave. Yeah, yeah. I, I hope we don't del delve too deep, though. Might 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 encounter a Balrog. They are. Oh, what dwarves? You mean? My old boss would bring them to our machine shop and have a rug. For oh, no, oh no! Oh oh sorry sorry. I thought you were talking about dwarves. You're talking about uh, Persian rugs. Have a rug cleaning company, bring them up for cleaning. Oh, okay, all right, all right. All right, so I guess I guess they're bad. How, how much would a Persian rug uh, cost then? I'm not really an expert on Persian rugs. So. What do we do here? The water is getting deep here. I really wish we could take this boat. <laughs> take this boat? But we can't. Alright, well, there we go. That's the reservoir room. Uh, let's see, where am I going? Alright, well, uh, let's see. Uh, I think... Uh, I think we should make it our mission to. Um, there's a threatening oh, dwarf. Whoops. A sharp knife is thrown. It. Dwarf's axe. You have vanquished a little dwarf. It it is satisfying to vanquish those dwarves, though. I have to say. All right. I think what we want to do is we want to retrieve uh, the uh, treasures that the, the the pirates stole from us. Um, if we can, if I can find where the uh, the maze is, he's he's hiding in one of the mazes. 
Uh, where is it? That's a good question. I think we need to take that that crystal bridge over the fissure like like we did uh, before. We could also go down here though. The steps are extremely steep. Luckily, there's a rope to hang on to. Is it is that your real name, Jay Crizzle? That's a that's an interesting name. I actually knew someone called Janet Criddle uh, at, at, at university, but I don't think I've never known someone called Crizzle. <laughs> Pick themselves out of the earth. Yeah, I, I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say that. That's 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 an in joke. You're in Bedquilt, a long east-west passage with holes everywhere. All right, Th uh, this uh, this Bedquilt room is it's this is like an important junction. There's a, a lot of different places that we can go from here. I f well, I fancied who Jan Janet Criddle. Yeah, that, that's that was a long time ago. This is an old coral passage. It's now blocked by debris. What's it? Your other nickname is even odder. C Pappy? They called you Pappy after Pappy Van Winkle. <laughs> okay. Great. Should I, should, I, should, I call you, should I call you Pappy then? There is an enormous clam here. Its shell is tightly closed. It is too big and heavy to carry. Uh, I don't think we can uh, open this clam right now. Uh, we need a special item for that. So. Feels a bit like Atlantis. Oh, you mean like Atlantis Lost Tales? Yeah, but, yeah, maybe a little bit. Yeah. Love has no time. The Chris. <laughs> nice. Okay. What? <laughs> I like how that dwarf just like, runs away and it just like falls over. <laughs> it says, "Cave under construction beyond this point. Proceed at own risk." Which construction company? All right. Some some uh, dwarf construction going on here. There is a recent issue of Spelunker Today magazine here. All right, I'm gonna leave that magazine uh, there because we don't actually need it until uh, until much later. So. All right. You need to be a little closer oh. to climb that. Let's see, where am I going? Can I go north from here? Let's go, what if we go up here? You've crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the main passage. Hmm. Okay, let's go this way. Nope. You've crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the main passage. Uh. I thought I could go, uh, oh no, wait, I, I, I wanna go up from here. No, no, not there. Hmm. I I have played this game before. Hey, hey, Daniel. Hello. How how's it going? Uh, I'm just trying to figure out, trying to figure out which direction to go here, which is, which is basically just like this whole game, pretty much. <laughs> just like just like fi figuring out which uh which corridor to take. There are cracks everywhere, but you may be able to slip through this one. 
Okay. Yeah, like uh, as you can see, like uh, this this uh, auto map is kind of essential. Um, like if 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 we didn't have this, I'd you'd have to like draw the map by hand, like old old school style. Uh, I actually want to go east from here. What? Use the mushy peas. <laughs> You're in a large room full of dusty rocks. There is a big hole in the floor. There are cracks everywhere, and a passage leading east. All right, let's go east. You're in a dusty rock room. Wait, where's the east passage then? Oh, here. Right. I want to. I want to get to the. Um, there's like a. There's a beanstalk. I want. I want to get to the beanstalk. Thought it was like around around here. Uh, I think I need to go east again. I really hope my lantern doesn't doesn't run out here. Oh no! Th th this is where you get water from. Okay, that didn't go where I thought it was gonna go. Damn, I, 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 I why did I clear my old maps? Like I could have just used my old maps, now I have to redo them all again. There are cracks everywhere, but you may be able to slip through this one. No, that didn't work. Oh man. Uh. No wait, maybe I need to go up. Take the there's a ladder here, right? Where is it? Oh my god, I'm getting so lost here. Yeah. Okay, and now we're back here. Uh, let, let's let, let's just go let, let's go over that fissure because uh, I don't know. I can't find the beanstalk right now. So let's go back this way. Has uh, has anyone in the chat actually played this game already? I mean, if you haven't played it, I'm totally spoiling it for you. So sorry. Every dwarf you meet just runs away from you. It's not it's not very friendly. There are diamonds here. All right, we got the diamonds. You have no need of that. Sparkling diamonds festoon this hollow recess. Hmm, festoon. Ah, okay, so right, this uh, this links up here, and so, okay, what if we go up from here? Oh, oh you, you played some of the text adventure? Okay, yeah, it, it's, uh, it's pretty, pretty much the same, the same thing, but, uh, but in, in, in graphical form. Yeah. Oh. 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 You haven't played it or the original. Okay. Well, I, I appreciate you watching this, seeing as I'm totally spoiling it for you. Sorry. Whoop! What happened there? Oh wait. Is it? Is this the maze? This is the maze. Ah. Okay. Here we go. All right. Well, I, I didn't mean to go here, but uh, yeah. Now, uh, this this is the maze where the uh, the pirate hides out. So we have to uh, figure out where he is, so we can retrieve our treasure and also steal his treasure as well. So uh, let's see. I don't know exactly where I'm where to go, but it'll map it for you. So okay, well obviously not that way. 
Let's go down. Is that just a dead end? Yep. You're on the wrong side of the ladder. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so uh, you know, you can just imagine playing this in, 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 in VR, like I think I think it would kind of add a you know extra dimension to it you know and it, it would make you feel like you really are lost in this maze <laughs> plunder his booty Ex exactly exactly Okay, it's, it's went around in a circle there. Uh, let's see, we want to go... Uh, not that way. I guess we want to go north. Oh. And that connects up there. Okay, so now you see now, now we're back uh, at the beginning beginning again. So let's go north from here. Oh no, wait. No, that's a dead end as well. What? Uh. Huh. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Where haven't we been? Oh wait, east. Sorry, we 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 didn't go east. You want it to be called Cardinal Mendoza? <laughs> Sorry. Yes, VR would be the best way, <coughs> best way to play this. Right. Cardinal Mendoza. Honestly. Um... There's uh there's nothing else to find in this maze. So uh, you know I'm just kind of you know storming through it. Well, I'm not really storming, but you know I'm not, I'm not looking around because there's not much to look at. Um ah now here uh you can see see down there like that's actually um the uh, the chamber where the bird was like you know right right near the beginning. So uh it's kind of interesting how everything connects up. And so now, now we're looking at that from, uh, you know, fr from up here, you know. Where's the bear? Oh, like yeah, we we get to that, uh, we get to that later, a bit later. You've been down there before. You remember the little bird? Yeah, you, yeah, you remember the little bird that you had to catch, but only after you dropped the rod. Yeah, that bird. All right. Now the pirate's lair is around here somewhere. Uh, maybe here? Hmm. I think it's through here. Ah, wait, no, I think we found it. This has the distinct feel of a ship's hold. How curious is this? That's just a rat hole. Nothing interesting there. We, we found the pirate's rat hole. All right, so yeah, this is apparently ah now look here here we go now you see uh like here's what the pirate stole from us he stole those uh, silver coins. There are rare coins here. 
Let's take that back and the pirate's treasure chest is here. Let's take the pirate's booty. That's it. Grab that booty. <laughs> there we go. All right. So yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So you can you can see how the inventory gets uh, full up pretty quickly, and I think we want to drop uh, drop our rare um, coins. Yes, rare coins. We, we, we want to drop our uh, treasure now. So let's get out of this maze and drop the, drop the treasure. I wish there was like a time limit or some indication of how long you have, like how, how long the lantern is, is going to last. Because you have to have, I think you have to have the lantern on like the whole time. Like you can't turn it off. Brass so if I turn it off, off, it is now pitch dark. Yeah, see, you can't if do you proceed, anything. You will most likely fall into a pit. Like you have to use the lantern. Brass lan the lantern is now lit. Can I just tell? I wish I could just teleport out Brass, of here. Zizzy, clue, clue. That won't work here. It, it doesn't work that way. Zizzy, zizzy. That is useless right now. Hmm. All right. So let's go. Okay, we we don't need to map like the whole rest of the maze because there's there's nothing else here. Which way? Do you want to go up or down? Simple bar showing how much oil. Oh, uh, actually, yeah, the funny thing is it looks like an oil lamp, but it's not. It actually runs on batteries. But uh, it, it looks brass lantern. like... Where where are the batteries? It, it looks like one of those kind of old fashioned oil lamps. So I don't know. He's got to stick some double A batteries in there. <laughs> okay, I think I'm almost out of here. Nope. Wait. Uh, do I go up? You're on the wrong side of the ladder. Yeah, make make making your own maps. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, you know, like the like there would be something re you know really satisfying about about mapping this, uh, you know, you, uh, yourself. And uh, you know, I mean, it, it would obviously take take a lot longer. And you know, I, I appreciate the auto map, but uh, yeah, it, it, there's there's something quite like ma making your own uh, making your own maps. Um, I think I'm gonna go and drop off some treasure now. Because I don't have any more inventory space. Clue. 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 You feel a strange pulling sensation. Gotta gotta love that strange pulling sensation. You're back in the well house. All right. Treasure chest. Brass, rare coins. Several diamonds. All right, and Persian rug. The Persian, the Persian rug. Uh, where's where the Persian rug go? Oh, oh, it's there. Okay. 
Yeah, uh, uh, for, for some reason, like, we stick it in the corner over here. I, I, I would have put it over here, like, maybe, you know, maybe if you put it here, like, it might, it might fall over and get wet, you know. But anyway. So, uh, yeah, so let's see. So how many traders do we have so far? That's like one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so there's like, there's 15 traders in total. So we're like pretty much halfway, ha halfway through already. And we got, we got 147 uh, points. Okay, well, it's pretty good. We're actually, actually doing pretty good, I think. You feel a strange pulling sensation. I'm so happy they put that in from uh, King King's Quest VI. <laughs> You're back in the Y2 room. All right. Uh, well, we seem to have mapped this. I don't know if I want to pick up uh, the food and the keys yet. That's like the, that's the last thing I think that you that you do like uh, the the the. There's a bit with a bear. Halfway there, but my score isn't. It, it, okay, it, it'll get there. I hope. I hope. <laughs> uh, there's like one treasure that's worth more though, because uh, it's a, it's a little trickier to get. So uh, I, I'm I'm really hoping. I, I think I should be able to do this in in just one run. What time is it? Damn, it's it's nine thirty already. Okay, no, no, no. I can do it. I can do it. I, I need to find the, the, the beanstalk, though. Where is this beanstalk? Oh, I, I, I wish I hadn't cleared my old maps. I think we want to go back to the bed quilt room. I want to get to the Swiss cheese room is what I want to, is what I want to get to. I really thought it was here. No. Let's let's go back to bed quilt. Once once I find the Swiss cheese room, I'm good. <laughs> oh, we're going somewhere new. Yes, this is it. Yeah, here we are, the Swiss cheese room. All right. Great. It's called the Swiss cheese room because it it's it kind of looks like Swiss cheese with all the holes in it. Look, see? This is why you see you see you see all the holes in in in, in the walls there. You are in a room in which the walls resemble Swiss cheese. Obvious passages go west, east, south, northeast, and northwest. Part of the room is occupied by a large bedrock block. Hmm. That that looks good enough to eat. <laughs> Alright, I want to find the uh, soft room. Is it here? Yeah. This, this is one of my favorite rooms in the game. This is like the chill out room. That light is quite entrancing and colorful. These kaleidoscopic mushrooms are trippy to say the least. I, I don't know why, like, but it, I, I think, like, for some reason, the, the narrator kind of sounds like Australian there. You're in a soft. Oh, wait. Room. The walls are covered with heavy curtains, the floor with a thick shag carpet. Moss covers the ceiling. These kaleidoscopic mushrooms are trippy to say the least. Yep, this th this is the room where you can chill out and uh, you know maybe uh, maybe eat some trippy trippy mushrooms. Um, let's see. There is a yeah. There's a, there is a cushion here which we need to pick up. A small velvet pillow lies on the floor. I kind of just want to hang out here. You must not touch them. They are sensitive and may shrink away. Yeah, and uh, unfortunately we can't uh, eat the mushrooms. It's a shame. It's not yours. Besides, it's too high to reach. 
nothing happens. Again, again, you know, it, it would be nice if you could actually do something else in this room. You know? I don't know. It's the what? The mush, the mush, the mush, <laughs> mushroom. <laughs> nice, nice one. Nice one, Dave. Is, isn't this a, t a totally chilled out room though? Like, like, wouldn't wouldn't you want to hang hang out here? You know, you could just you could sit sit right here, surrounded by these kaleidoscopic mushrooms, and just uh, just just chill out. All right. Anyway, moving on. Moving on. Uh, right, okay. Now, let's see, there's different places we can go here. We want to go west, I think, to the Beanstalk. Yep. You're at the east end of a two-pit room. The floor here is littered with thin rock slabs, which make it easy to descend the pits. There is a path bypassing the pits to connect passages from the east and the west. There are holes all over, but there is a big one on the wall directly over the west pit, too high to reach. Ah, right. So, so we we, we want to uh, we want to go up. Uh, we we want to uh, figure out how to go up from this room. There's the beanstalk. There is a tiny little plant in the pit, murmuring, water, 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 water. So yeah, we 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 have to water it. Water. <laughs> All right, let, of water. let's. Uh, okay, we, we could drink the water, but you know we want to we want to use it here. The plant spurts into furious growth for a few seconds. Water. Oh, it wants more water. There is a 12 foot tall beanstalk stretching up out of the pit. Water. Bellowing. Water. 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 <laughs> water. water. Yeah, it really wants water. All right. Well, let's let's give it some water. Uh, we we have to go back to where there was uh, there was some water though. If I can figure out which way to go. Yeah, like like like, like the real the real trick to this game is is fig figuring out how everything uh, everything connects up. And, um, you know, like, just, yeah, just fig figuring out where to go and everything. And because there's so many twisty passages and caverns and, and all that. So, uh, can I go up from here? I thought I could do. Yep. Oh, maybe I can just fill, fill the, the bottle at the reservoir. I, I didn't do that before, but I guess you could, I guess maybe, I mean, you should be able to, right? I mean, it is water. empty bottle your bottle is now full yeah yeah of course of course you can all right well I, like there is some use for the reservoir i guess then you can, you can get some water out of it there is a threatening dwarf oh a sharp knife is thrown i forgot about the dwarves it dwarfs axe you have vanquished a little dwarf All right, so let, let's go back to the beanstalk again. Let's see this way. You need to be a little closer oh. to climb that. There seems to be less puzzles than than you expected. Yeah, there's not. It's not really a puzzle. Yeah, it's, it's not really a puzzle game so much. I mean, there are puzzles like yeah, you know, you have to like, you know, you have to water the beanstalk and stuff like that, and you know. 
but like they're not really like overly complicated or anything so it, it it's much more focused on the exploration part of it like like there's also not really any kind of npc you know interactions or anything like that um which i think is a shame i i, I think you know they you know they could have added some um you know at, le at least at least a couple people to talk to you know so, so 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 you're not just like uh you know it's not so lonely um wait where am i going i want to go back to uh the swiss cheese room Okay, here we are. Alright. I'm, I'm a compulsive saver, by the way, but uh, in, the, in this game, it, it, like, it's a, that's actually a good thing. So. Water. Alright, alright. Hang on, hang on. Bottle of water. There you go. The plant grows explosively, almost filling the bottom of the pit. Cool. Uh, now uh, we can there climb a gigantic up. Gigantic beanstalk stretching all the way up to the hole. This, this is a kind of a little throwback, I guess, to King's Quest One, like climbing the beanstalk. Although it's much easier in this game. Um, yeah. Uh, before I do that, I want to uh, get some oil. I think there's some oil in uh, one of these pits. Is it here? A small pool of oil seeps out of the ground. Yeah, here. we're gonna need that oil now. Um, it's oily. Why stick your hand in it? Okay, let's use the bottle. Empty bottle. Your bottle is now full of oil. Yeah, we're gonna need that oil in a minute. That is useless right now. Oh, you should be able to climb this. Nothing happens. Oh. There we go. It's, it's kind of weird how the icon is still like a ladder, but we're climbing up a beanstalk. Alright, so here we are in the giant room. You find yourself in a pantry, apparently for a very large person. You see a cavernous room to the north. Oh, it's just it cut out. Oh, You're because of the, the music. Room. The ceiling is too high to see with your lamp. Cavernous passages lead east, north, and south. It would take a giant appetite to devour those large potatoes. Those potatoes are as big as rocks. Even one would overwhelm you. Now, um, the giant isn't home, but I guess like you can hear him like bang on the door. Like I don't know which door he's banging on exactly. Maybe here? The passage here is blocked by a recent cave-in. So, I guess I... I don't know, what, like, the, the giant got blocked out of his own house or something? I don't know. It's a shame you can't actually see the giant here, but anyway. Um, alright. We want, uh... This is another magic spell here. It says, Fee, Fi, Fo, Fu. Right, we're gonna need that spell uh, for the uh, golden eggs here. There is a large nest here, full of golden eggs. Okay, so yeah, we pick up the golden eggs. Um, now, if we uh, if we say say that spell, uh, fee fi fo fu, fee fi fo fu, fee fi fo fu. Uh. The nest is full of golden eggs. Right. So, yeah, what happens is, and then the go the golden eggs get uh, teleported back into the nest, which is something that you need to know for later. There is a large nest here, full of golden eggs. I don't think there's anything Watch else it. you can do here. Whoop. It's hot. The smell from that cauldron sickens you. Watch it. It's hot. You're in the giant room. The ceiling is too high to see with your lamp. It appears that some poor soul could be someone's bread. There's no use for that here. 
Okay, so yeah, there's nothing else you can do here. You'd best start wrapping this up. Huh? Unless you can find some fresh batteries. I seem to recall that there's a vending machine in the maze. Bring some coins with you. What, really? My time is running out already? You gotta be kidding me. What? The way north leads through a massive iron door. The door is extremely rusty and refuses to open. All right, I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, <laughs> like speed this up a bit. The oil has freed up the hinges so that the door will now open. The way north leads through a massive iron door. A what? A what? Uh, hey, hey, library owl, how's it going, T? A what? A, a, a what nest of golden eggs? Is that from D and D or something? I don't think I know that. Yeah, so many King's Quest 1 references. Yeah, yeah, giant, beanstalk, golden eggs, yeah. I can't believe I'm already running out of time. Like, have I really been taking, like, that long? See, the, the trouble is that you can get batteries, but then, uh, like, you lose points for that. So, it kind of defeats the whole purpose of getting maximum points. All right, we need this. There is a jewel encrusted trident here. Uh, jeweled trident. I have, you see a I have a bad slope. feeling about this it now. Looks like you can slide down it. You would, you, yeah, you would have finished this in an hour? Yeah, sure. Okay. Damn, I, 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 I'd forgotten how, how, how big, uh, big this is. How did I do this before? I, I didn't have so, so, I didn't have so much trouble, like, with the lantern running out before. Oh, large? Oh, okay. Uh, I want to go to the uh, shell. Jeweled trident. I'm expecting the lantern to run out now, like at any moment. You want to use the jeweled trident. The trident on the shell here. The jeweled trident magically opens the clam. A glistening pearl falls out and rolls away. Goodness. Where'd it go? This is really an oyster. But whatever it is, it is now snapped shut. Okay, roll down here. There it is. Off to one side lies a glistening pearl. Time flies when you're having fun. Well, that, yeah, that's that, that, that's certainly true. Yeah, I, I, I do like taking my time with games, which which is, you know, I, I, I normally don't like games that have, like, a time limit where you have to do things, like, you know, like, really, really quickly. But but I, I really thought that, like, uh, the, the Lantern in this game lasted a lot longer than this. Hmm. Yeah, I'm interacting with the, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, Lockmon Go, how's it going? Yeah, we live in a world where Ken and Roberta are making games again. Well, yeah, this is their their, their first um, first game since uh, since their comeback, and I, I really hope they keep making games. I'll, 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 it would be such a shame if uh, you know if, if if they didn't continue. Um, Jeweled Trident. Okay, I gotta drop this stuff off. Jeweled Trident. Uh, which way do I go? Damn, I I thought I had mastered this game. I'm like, no, no. Uh, 
but as a threatening dwarf. A sharp knife is thrown. It dwarf's axe. You have vanquished a little dwarf. I can hardly see. There is a little axe here. I can hardly see anything. Oh man. Is it is it my lantern? Oh, I, I am I am so screwed. I am so screwed here, I don't believe it. Look, how how am I supposed to play the game like this? Look. Can like can you can you see anything? I can hardly see anything now. What the hell? Maybe if I turn it off and off and on. Brass lantern. You have turned off the lantern. Let's turn it off and on again. Brass lan the lantern is now lit. There, that, that should solve it. Can't even find the, like the ladder going up. Oh, so what a what a fail! Unbelievable. Uh, it's it's south. Yeah. No, yeah. no, nah, nah, this is not looking good. Look, I can't, I can't see anything. There's not much point in wandering. Oh, around. you can't explore the cave without a lamp. So let's just call it a day. Oh, damn. Oh, game over. 153 out of 350. Uh-huh. I didn't I didn't even get like half points. Well, I'm still I'm still a seasoned adventurer, but uh Well, what a what what do I do now? I I I, I kind of I, I I don't I don't want to I don't want to give up on it though. Like should like should I should, uh, should I give it another go or what? I mean I, I mean like the problem is that like um, even if I load the game I'm gonna have the same I'm gonna have the same problem. Like it's it, it's better just kind of going through it like like really really quickly, and like you know getting back to where to where you were. Oh, how, how embarrassing. Uh, what, what was my last save? I mean, I, I mean, I could, uh, it's, it's probably, probably better just to, just to start, start a new game, no? Do you, uh, would, would you like me to start a new game and, ju and, ju and just kind of like, just run through it, just speed through it? Heat map and speed run. Okay, yeah, yeah. Hang on. Yeah, because I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to give up on this because I, like, I know, I know I can, I can do this. I've done it before. Do I want instructions? No, thank you. Do I want to clear the map? No. Nope. All right, come on. I, I'm just, I'm not gonna, not even gonna listen to anything. I'm just gonna like grab stuff. Oh no, after there looking at it. On the ground gotta make here. sure to look at everything before you pick it up. There is food here. There is a bottle of water here. There is a shiny brass lamp nearby. This is not how I usually play games, but uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to do that this time. Set of keys. You have unlocked. The grate is unlocked. That is useless. I don't right think now. it's not going to take like that long though to, to, to kind of get back to where to where I was. You're in a small chamber beneath a three bottle of brass. The lantern is now lit. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Where's the cage? Where's the cage? Damn. No, I'm back. Where's the cat? There it is. Wicker cave. 
Oh wait, I guess if you didn't look at the uh, treasures, you could actually just drop them and then there is a small and then look at them again. So actually, nearby. yeah. So okay, that's the solution. No, that's the entrance. Here's here's me speed running, which is basically playing like a headless chicken, running around like trying to do it as fast as possible. A three-foot black rod with a rusty star on an end lies nearby. It says, Zizzy. So... Okay, let's ru run ahead fearlessly. Here we go. Oh, wait. When you're black rod. Drop rod. Catch bird. Wicker K. Thank you. You have captured the bird. A three-foot black rod with a rusty star on an end lies nearby. Does the game have a time limit? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's, it, it's based on like turns. At your so, feet is a small I'm sorry. Pit breathing oh. traces of mist. At your feet is a small. Okay. You're at the top of a small pit. Yeah, it's it's based on like turns. So like, every time you move or do anything, like it, it records a turn. So it's not so much time based. It's like turn based. It doesn't tell you how many turns you have, though. It's the, you know, see, you you really don't know. The trouble is, you don't know where you are, like, and how much time you have left, uh, which would be helpful, because <laughs> um, you know, like, uh, otherwise, you know, like, you get to the stage where it's like you don't even know that you don't have enough time left, even if you go as quick as possible, like, and so you're kind of in like a dead end state where you can't complete the game anyway. All right, come on, let's let's get that nugget. Whoop. I like I like the sound the dwarves make. What? That's that's of That's the sound like all dwarves make. There is a large sparkling nugget of gold here. What? It says you won't get it up the steps. Save. Poor little dwarf, watch out! Sorry. Sorry. Whoops. Sorry. What? You'll need to drop something before you can catch What? Oh. Rod. Hang on. Hey, hey, Uzi Suicide. How, how's it going? Nice, nice to see you. How, how am I liking the game? Uh, I, I, I do like it. I do like it, but I admit that uh, there's certain aspects of this game that are uh, quite frustrating. Um... Like running out of time and, uh, you know, like just being killed by dwarves. Like we, we haven't got killed by the dwarf yet, but it's totally like random and you can't do anything about it. So, you know, like, like there are some, there are some things that uh, aren't so good about it, but it, it is a very faith, faithful recreation of the original. That's for sure. A crystal bridge. All right, so let's do that. Uh, I want to drop off some uh, Large treasure. Gold nugget. Can I pick up the axe now? Yeah. There we go. Okay. Hey, hey, Cabri San Sancor. How, how's it going? That's what she said? What, what did she say? <laughs> Are you playing? Yeah, it's tough, yeah. Yeah, the, the 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 dwarf part does get old. Like when I first played this, like, I didn't know how to like fight back. I didn't know to like that you could kill them with the axe, and I they just kind of kept coming and coming, and like I couldn't do anything about it, and it's just, like, I kept dying. You're in the little bird in a cage. Little bird attacks the green snake, and in an astounding flurry, drives the snake away. All right, snake taken care of. There is precious jewelry here. Could that don't disturb the dead? <laughs> Sorry, 
All right, we want to go, uh, let's see, hang on. All right. Let's plew out of here. It says Y2. Wait, uh, how, how do you learn the, the spell? The shadowy figure seems to be trying to attract your attention. Hello. Oh, there we go. You hear the word plu. I don't, I don't know who's that, who, what voice, where the voice is coming from. Like, who's actually saying that? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's how you uh, learn the word Precious plu. Precious jewelry. Dwarf's axe. Let's uh, drop a couple things here. Set of key. Bottle of water. Tasty food. Bottle of water. Let's grab some more treasure before we plew out of here. Got a bars of silver here. There you go. Okay, got the silver. Uh, over here we get the coins. Got a rare coin. Look at here. coins, pick up coins. Uh, oh, I want to go across the bridge and get... Do I have space for one more? Yes, okay. All right, okay. I feel, I feel better now because I'm kind of... Sorry, I kind of have to speed run a bit. I, I, I wanted to kind of, you know, look at everything, but... Doesn't look look like we have time. Not too many spoilers. Oh, I don't know if that's possible because I'm trying to get through the whole game though. Random dwarf, yeah, the random dwarves, yeah. I, I I just wish there was some friendly dwarves in this game, like they, like so they didn't all attack you, you know. Yeah, like, like this guy. I mean, what have we done to him? Look. He doesn't even turn around and look at us. He just runs away. There are diamonds here. All right, well, let's take his diamonds and get out. The frustrating side of this game sounds very Sierra-like. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Although, there's not nearly enough depth, though. Like, I, I'm surprised that they, they, they didn't put, put more, uh, like, game, game over, like, deaths in here. Like, the game overs are mostly either being killed by dwarves or, like, you run out of time, you know, and you just fall in the dark or something. I, I feel like this should be more, like, a more variety of deaths. Yeah, we, yeah, we bask in the old schoolness of it all. Oh, yeah. All right, let's uh, let's drop off the treasures here. All right, uh, plu. 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 You feel a strange pulling sensation. All right, I I feel like I'm doing better this time. See, you know, like I I'm doing I'm doing it. Uh, I'm you know I think I'm pretty fast. You're back in the well house. Yeah, at least you can save when you want. Like, just just imagine if you couldn't save all the time, or like there was only specific places to save and you got killed by like a dwarf just before you were going to drop off some treasure or something i mean yeah that would rare be coins. really unfair rare coins several diamonds bars of silver precious jewelry large gold nugget all right great one two three four five okay so we already dropped off a third of the treasures now nice okay Clue. So this is going a lot better now. You feel a strange pulling sensation. You're back in the Y2 room. Save. All right, now here's here's where I kind of got lost uh, earlier, and I I really I I got to speed things up. Oh no, wait, I need I need. I uh... know oh, actually I don't need those. Forget it. I just need my lantern and my axe. I got my lantern in one hand and my axe in the other. I'm good to go. I'm not going to fool around kind of going around that. I'm going to go straight for the dragon, I think. King's Quest 1 would definitely not be AGG's favorite game, right? I, I think King's Quest 1 is always going to be my favorite game, no matter what. Which, which, which is which, is, which is really biased, but west, what, what can you do? It crosses over a very tight canyon 15 feet below. If you go down, you may not be able to get back up. The dragon looks rather nasty. All right, let's let's best not pun punch the dragon's lights out. Come on. A huge green fierce dragon. A huge green. A 
A huge green. Attack a dragon? With your bare hands? Only someone reckless would try that. Congratulations. That that glove oh, looks looks like hands. something out of like VR. Unbelievable, isn't it? You know. You know in VR when you can like see your hands or whatever? That, that's what it looks you, like. You don't want to beat a defeated dragon. There is a Persian rug here. Alright, we got the Persian rug. Oh, a, mi ah, a mystery house remake. Yeah, like that that would oh I I would love to see that. Yeah. That's that's actually a really good suggestion. Yeah, remake a bit yeah, re remake a mystery house. Yeah. I, I, I never thought of that, but that, that's actually a really that's a that's a really good idea. Actually. Oh. All right. Got to got to keep going. Got to keep going. Okay, we're at the wait, the reservoir. I don't need to do anything there. All right. What what is the next I'm not I guess we can go to like the bed quilt room now. I should just go straight straight there. So let's go. Right, yeah, they left that in from uh, VR. Yeah. <laughs> you try and have good ideas. <laughs> like, do you not always have good ideas? <laughs> Oh, Kurt, yeah, Colonel's Bequest in VR, like, peeping through, uh, like, peepholes and stuff. Yeah, yeah, that would be, that would be good. Yeah, m m make it feel like you're really, really spying on people. You can, you can feel, you can feel what it's like to be a real peeping Tom. You're in bed quilt, a long east-west passage with holes everywhere. All right. Where was the Swiss cheese room again? Here, wasn't it? Yeah, okay, so now, see, now now we're here much, much quicker. Uh, let's go back to the, uh, where's, where's the trippy mushroom room? Down here, I think. We just want to grab that pillow for later. A small velvet pillow lies on the floor. <laughs> I love the music in this room as well. <laughs> It's not yours. Besides, it's too high to reach. Am I doing a review of this? Oh yeah, yeah, uh, absolutely. I, I just wanted to play it again uh, just now. Um, yeah, just to kind of pick up on anything I didn't pick up on before. Um, I, I, I played this before it was even released, so you know, I'm just just checking if there was anything else that maybe I had missed. Um, yeah, I, I also thought, yeah, like how how come there's not more text adventures like this that have been. Uh, you know, translated into, um, you know, uh, graphic adventures. Is there like a reason for that? Because I, I think, you know, I think it really, it really makes sense. I'm sure people would love to see, you know, like, like some of those old text adventures like, you know, uh, Planetfall and uh, what else was there? I mean, obviously Zork, although Zork did kind of go into, you know, they did do graphic adventures later as Zork, but, you know, uh, yeah. When's my review coming out? Uh, in the next week. Yeah. How, how, oh, how, how I can connect Phantasmagoria 2. I don't know. I don't know if I can work Phantas 2 into this. Yeah. Unfortunately, I can't mention Phantasmagoria 2 in, in like every video. Oh, it must be nice to play before release. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I like... um. I really like playtesting games and like find you know it's like finding it's seeing how like it evolves and stuff, and like you know finding finding all the bugs and like the yeah there were some bugs, uh you know in in this game that uh, I don't I don't think are there anymore so uh, you know so, so you won't see them. Yeah, mine forever voyaging that yeah uh, yeah that that kind of thing. All right, let's let's go straight for the beanstalk, shall we? Uh, oh wait. <laughs> okay, that's all right. We want we, we want the pirate. I'll just take all this booty and hide it away when we chance to sleep in the maze. All right, take take my take my booty. Go on, take it. That's okay. I'm all right with that. 
<laughs> Colossal Cave is nothing at all like Phantasmagoria 2, right? Well, I could probably say that about pretty much every game, no? <laughs> Phantasmagoria 2, I, 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 it, that's kind of like my guilty pleasure game, and I, I love talking about it. Um, it's one of the only uh, adventure games that, uh, um, that has uh, bondage in it. You know, so I, I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. You're at the east end of a two. There is a tiny little plant in the pit. Oh, hey, hey, Simon, how's it going? Water. Um, am I gonna go? Hang on. Am I gonna go spelunking for my review? I, I would love to go visit the actual colossal cave. Which is the Mammoth Cave in Kentucky. Uh, unfortunately, I think it's a little far from the UK, but uh, I would have loved to have gone there. You know, um, yeah. I, I I am doing something. It's it's not that, but I but I am I, I have done something else. But it's not. Unfortunately, it's not going as far as Kentucky. <laughs> uh, yeah. After I tried to buy Hobbs Barrow. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. I did. But yeah. But that that was here in the UK, so it was a lot easier. Even for Colossal Cave, I, I can't bring myself to um, to fly all the way over to Kentucky. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I love my dark, weird games. I do. I do. Yes, I, 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 I do. I do have a dark side. That's true. Uh. So yeah. Am I following? Oh, oh, Curtis Craig's channel. Oh yeah, of course. Conversations with Curtis. I've been fo following it since uh, since the beginning. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, I, I really appreciate like you know all the all the interviews he's he's been doing with people like behind the scenes and like the the actors and and all of that. And uh, yeah, yeah, he's 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 great. Yeah. <laughs> Where's my ah? Uh, what the? Where's my bottle of water? Oh. Oh, did I drop it? Ah, oh, shit! I was doing. I was doing so well. Oh god damn it! Wait, did I? I I, I didn't. Uh, I just um, saved over my game, didn't I? Oh, hang on, hang on. Let, let, let me let me let me see if I can uh, if I can do this. Have I played Immortality? No, no. I, I, it's 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 definitely on my list. Uh, immortality. Yeah. I think I think it was you who. who... There's a threatening dwarf. Oh. A sharp knife is thrown. This game is not easy, is it? Dwarf's axe. You have vanquished a little dwarf. The, the, the trouble is with like the limited inventory, you really have to think ahead. Like, okay, you know what items am I gonna need, like coming up, you know, and then you have to remember like where you, where you drop them as well. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, the, uh, the map does show. Yeah, the map does show where you drop stuff. Like the, the the tricky part is, it's it's like even if you know, even if you've played this before, it, it's it's difficult to remember like how. Okay, so how do I get back to where is it? Like where did I drop the water? It was uh, okay here. So here here you can see, I dropped the water in the Y two room here. So it's like okay, well now I got to get back there from wherever I am. And it's just not, it's it's just really, it's just tough, you know. How how could I have dropped that? Like that 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 was really. There's a threatening dwarf. No, a sharp knife is thrown. That was silly of me. Dwarf's axe. You have vanquished. I hope I don't dwarf. lose too much time like doing this now. What if you drop something in a random obscure shadow? Oh, what you mean, like in the dark, so you can't there see is it? There's a threatening dwarf. Oh. A sharp knife is thrown. These dwarves. 
Dwarf's axe. You have vanquished a little dwarf. There is a little axe here. Um, yeah, it'll still show up on the map. Okay, where is it? That was silly of me. Excuse me. One one of the times I played this though, like the 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 lantern lasted a long time, and I I was spending a lot of time like like you know uh, lo looking around, and it was definitely longer than than I was playing like that first time. So I don't know I don't know whether they changed it or something, but uh, I don't know. No, it's not that. Where's the beanstalk? Okay, I, I, I didn't lose that much time, right? It's, it's not that Bottom bad. Of water. I hope. Plant spurts into furious growth for a few seconds. You got much better. Eight. We still haven't been, been killed by the uh, by the dwarves. It's like surprising. They. Uh, I would have thought we would have been killed already. All right. Uh, where do I um, fill up this bottle here? Can I just go to like the reservoir again? Empty bottle. Your bottle is now full. There is a threatening dwarf. A sharp knife is thrown. Dwarf's axe. You have attacked a little dwarf. Oh, he, he dodged. dodged out of the way. He he, he kind of did the splits there. Hey, uh, Gregory. Oh, I always make you feel better when you're having a rough day. Oh, good. That's good to hear. Like, are you having a rough day today? I'm, I'm, I'm having a little bit of a bit of a rough time with the, uh, with this game. Like, it's uh, I don't I don't know. Like, I'm I thought I was doing well, but uh, I totally failed the first time. I feel like I'm I'm doing better, right? Like, I, am am I not a lot faster than I was like the first time? Uh, southwest. Yeah. Okay. Are you just a little sick? All right. There is a threatening dwarf. Oh, another. Dwarf. A sharp knife is thrown. Mortal dwarf's axe. You have attacked a little dwarf, but he is dodged out of the way. How do these dwarves just like jump in and out of like solid rock like that? How does that even work? Water. Bottle of water. The plant grows explosively, almost filling the bottom of the pit. Good. Okay. Now we now we gotta get. There's some... a threatening dwarf. Another dwarf. My a God. A sharp knife is thrown. They just keep coming. Dwarf's axe. You have attacked a little dwarf, <sighs> but he is dodged out of the way. There is a little axe here. It's so random. The first time I I, I played it, like uh, I didn't have much trouble with them, and now they're like showing up all, all the time. A small pool. It's oily. Dwarf, empty bottle. Your bottle is now full of oil. Oh, you just got over bronchitis. Are you gonna try try and game more this year? Like like uh, uh, any particular games you're like planning on playing? You thought they were teleporting? No. Oh uh, no! I I think they just kind of like come out of the ground. I I, I don't get it. Like uh. There is a gigantic beanstalk stretching Have you ever seen the like the hole. dwarves like? Tunneling underground and it's like jumping up and then kind of like jumping back into the ground again. I don't know Did I load from an earlier save no like I, I went back and got the bottle of water and it, it didn't take very long I, I think 
I think I'm good. I, I'm gonna uh, keep my save game like around here, just so like if I get lost again, then I can just come back here and I don't have to do like the whole thing again. Because I think I've done this pretty quickly. You're in the giant room. It says, feed five foe. There is a threatening dwarf. Another dwarf. A sharp knife is thrown. It missed. Dwarf's uh. axe. You have vanquished a little dwarf. Oh, shit. I, I should have looked at the eggs. Golden egg. There are golden eggs here. Fee-fi-fo-fu. The nest is full of golden eggs. There is a large nest here, full of golden eggs. Are you not supposed to get points when you look at the eggs? Did I did I get points before for looking at the eggs? Like usually you get points when you look at the treasure before you pick it up which i didn't do i saved like a few minutes ago maybe maybe i should uh maybe i should go back just in case i just dropped yeah well no i dropped the eggs because i like i think if you look at them if you look at the treasures the first time you get some points right or no or no or you don't you usually do do you not do that with with the eggs though? It gives you like two points when you look at a, a, a treasure. Uh, I'm I'm just gonna hang on. Like I only saved like a few minutes ago actually, so I'm just gonna go back. Oh wait. Um, there are no additional points given for looking. Oh. Once you use them, you get the two points. Oh, so e if you don't look at them, you get the two points anyway by picking them up or, draw or placing them. Are you sure about that, Joshua? Because if, if so, I can just keep going from where I was. Jo Josh Joshua's already like finished this and got maximum points in an hour, so he knows what he's talking about. <laughs> so I'm just going to trust whatever he says. Yeah, yeah, the dwarves are just like defending their territory, that's sure. You get the two points eventually. Oh, you're 100% sure? All right, I trust you, I trust you. Yeah, it, it would be silly if like, you know, if you didn't look at the the treasure like the first time, like you just missed the points. Like that, that would be silly, right? There's a large nest here. Full of golden eggs. It just uses up a move. Okay. All right. Let, let's uh, let's oil up this uh, this door here. Bottle of oil. The oil has free. The way the way north leads through a massive iron door. How how did you manage to finish this in an hour, Joshua? Again. Yeah, that's okay. We'll just get it back. What did he take? Uh, I'm not sure. All right, let's just get the try. And... This game is hot. I, I I forgot how hard this game actually is. There is a jewel encrusted. Yeah, yeah, see, okay, see there, you get two points there, but okay, I guess you get them anyway. All right. Oh, walk through, right. I'm I'm gonna keep that save game next to the next to the eggs there, just in case I like s screw it up uh, now and, and and get totally lost. 
why don't, why don't I get the uh, the vase now? What exactly counts as a as a move, Joshua? Like if I just like move around just like this, does that count as a move, or is it just when you move from like one place to the next? How many points for eating the eggs? Uh, none, because you can't do it. I don't want to go to the giant, though. Sorry, not the giant, the, um, the troll. There's a troll, but I don't want to go there. Ah! Okay. Let's grab this vase. There is a delicate, precious Ming vase here. Sorry, yeah. Well, sorry, vase. I meant to say vase, not vase. Eh. Uh, okay, we don't want to go to the troll yet. There's nothing. I don't think there's anything there. Okay, forget that. Let me just keep going over here. Oh, every click screen change looking at inventory okay so right any every like action okay <sighs> hmm i think i want to drop jewel ming vase i want to get the uh the uh the pearl and then drop off and then i want to drop off the treasures then i want to go to the maze and get the pirate booty and and all that how is there time for how is there time for all this, honestly? Oh wait, okay, hang on. Shell's here. I feel like I, I I'm not really wasting that much Jewel time, am I? A jeweled trident magically opens the clam. A glistening pearl falls out and rolls away. Goodness. Quick, follow it. This is really an oyster. But whatever it is, it is now snapped. You are in a cul-de-sac. Off to one side lies a glistening pearl. All right, drop off treasures. This is uh, this is all kind of, all kind of tense, isn't it? Like like just just running around, like seeing if you can like make it. With, with with like all, all the treasures but like this is not how i played it like before like this is not i don't know like it's it, i feel like i'm running more out of time here uh what's the best way to get back to the hall of the mountain king let's go go up from here and then east Yep, weird gaming adventure is is here. He 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 loves you in a weird way, right, Joshua? Can like I, I, can you explain exactly what that means? There is a threatening dwarf. A sharp knife is thrown. Ming jeweled trident. I was about to throw the trident at the dwarf. I don't think that would work. Jew there. Dwarf's axe. You have vanquished a little dwarf. Yeah. Nothing Sorry. Nothing happens. <laughs> All right, let's go up from here. Oh, the stream is cutting into WGA's usual. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, Joshua. Like, is is this when Joshua looks at big box games on eBay? Yeah, but how how, how many big box games can you look at on eBay? I mean, come on. <laughs> You can only have so many big boxes now. <laughs> Clue. Clue. You feel a strange pulling sensation. I think in, 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 instead of buying big boxes, you, sh you should just, just spend spend your whole day Rock playing Colossal, well Colossal Cave. <laughs> Listening Listening pearl. Ming jeweled trident. Um, the the trick with Ming the the vase axe. is that you have to put the pillow down pillow. before the vase, or it'll break. Uh, Velvet pillow. And then you'll put the vase on the pillow. That's that that's the trick. Dwarf uh, Ming that one. vase. 
So C, there you go. Alright, so how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Alright. Clue, clue. You feel a strange pulling sensation. You're back in the Y2 room. Yeah, Joshua already 100 percent 100%, 100%ed this game, right? Which is which is which is more than uh, I, I'm probably gonna do <laughs> at this at this rate. Where am I? Where am I going now? Um, I think I want to get the uh, treasures back from the the pirate now. There is a threatening dwarf. A sharp knife is thrown. That's a different looking dwarf. Dwarf's axe. You have vanquished a little dwarf. <laughs> yeah, he he definitely he definitely used a guide. Oh yeah. Maybe I should just like watch his video and just like just do whatever he did. The, like the thing is, I'm just I'm not good at speed running games like like this. You know, it's just not it's not how I play games, especially adventure games. Yeah, now here, here I guess like uh, you, you know what I I think here like, I probably spent too long, kind of getting lost in this maze and like you know you, you should just like know exactly where to go you know. Um, so if I save here, okay. So I I already have this map, so I just want to go straight there. So I want to go. Uh, let's see, east south. East, south, and south. Yeah. And then I want to go south, north, east. Okay, and now we're here. Good. Uh, and then I want to go east, right, to get to the pirate's den. Yeah, see, look, I can see that. He, I can see what he took. He took the Persian rug. Hey, Neo and Autumn. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I'm I'm sorry you couldn't uh, couldn't join today. Um, so what, are you, are you just out and about, or whatever? Um, yeah, I, I, th I, I thought I would have uh, beaten the game by now, but no. Oh, it, it, that's not your idea of fun, like, like, mapping? Like, yeah, like, I mean, yeah, I mean, you can, you, you can see how this map looks. Like, like, just imagine, like, having to draw that yourself, and, like, figuring out, like, how each room kind of interconnects and stuff i mean you know but like you know we are talking about a game from 1976 so you know that's that that's just just you know at the time like that was just what you did what you did yeah I, yeah yeah that th thanks for uh stopping by uzi suicide yeah yeah, yeah we'll, we'll we'll have to catch up sometime N nice to see you is my yeah is my all that yeah that's a good question is my all lantern almost out of battery like it it really should give some indication Empty like brass lantern there's no indication of like how long you have uh you know so i'm just kind of like blindly running around hoping 
that my lantern doesn't doesn't run out. Uh... Persian rug. The pirate's treasure chest is here. Good. All right. Um. Now the question is: Do we want to go for any more treasures, or do we want to drop the, these two off? What What other treasures are there? Sorry, I, I do actually have a list of the treasures. Uh, let's see. Gold nugget, jewelry, coins. How, yeah, silver, diamonds, treasure chest, pearl, vase. We still need to get the emerald and the pyramid. Um, there's, not, there's not that many... There's not that many left, though. We could try and get the emerald and the pyramid. Like th those are those are kind of tricky. Oh damn! Let's, sorry, he he stole my golden eggs as well. I I almost where where are those? Hang on, let me sorry, let me just reload that because. Uh... Um, can I turn the lantern off? Uh, I don't think so. I, I, I think you have to have the lantern on, like, the whole time. Um, but it, it would also just be really annoying if you have to keep, like, turning it off all the time just to conserve, like, the battery. You know? Wait. Oh, the eggs are up there. There are golden eggs here. Anything else he stole, or is that it? That was it. Okay, well, it was, it was a good thing I checked that. Golden eggs. Okay, what's the best way to get out of here again? West, west, east, east. I think uh, I think if I don't manage to like to, to get through this like this time, I think I may just like uh, <laughs> I may I may just give it up. Um. But, but you see, like, I, you know, I, I'm not, like, you know, I'm not spending too much time here, you know? I'm not looking at anything. I'm not, like, getting too lost. Like, I'm just following the map here. And so, you know, if I run out of lantern, like, I don't know what to say. Uh, yes, yes, you are. What? Huh? Go clue, clue. You feel a strange pulling sensation. <laughs> You're back in the well house. All right. Oh no, we golden eggs. we need the golden eggs though for the troll treasure chest. We can drop this and this Persian rug. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
9, 10. All right, so all right, so we have 10. So we're miss. All right, so the ones that we're missing here. So we need we need the eggs, the uh, the emerald, the pyramid, the gold chain, and the spices. That's it. All right. Okay. I can do this. Clue. Clue. You feel a strange pulling sensation. You're back in the Y2 room. I'm kind of wondering if I want to do the troll. Let, let, let's do it. Let, let's do. Let's do the troll. Right. How, how, how do I? How do I get to the troll here? I don't think I need the bottle anymore. I think I can drop that. Set of keys. Uh, troll, troll. Okay. Uh, to uh, west, down, and then north. How many, how many people are still watching this? <laughs> You've crawled around it's in little holes and wound up back at You've crawled around it's in little holes and wound You've crawled around it's in little holes and wound up back in the main passage. See, th this is where it's, it gets really random like you're supposed to go north to the troll but it doesn't always go there. <laughs> You've crawled around it's in little holes and wound up back in the. Nah, you see, hang on, so something's. 20, uh, 22, really? That's more, more than before. I, I, I think all the lurkers should just, uh, should say. Well, no, no, like, if you don't want to say hi in the chat, just, like, just come, come up with some more good magic words. Like, uh,. What was that one like? Um, there was like a really good one. Someone uh, like some someone came up with. I can't remember it now. I, I, I'd have to look back in the chat. You've crawled around. It's in little holes. Oh come on! There we go. Come on! Take take me to the troll. There we go. I want to be going south west here. All right. So for this, I need the food. The food, the keys, and the eggs. Food, keys, eggs. Set yes. of keys. Okay. Good, good, good. All right. Here we are at the Troll Bridge. You're on one side of a large, deep chasm. A white mist rises up from below to obscure much of the far side. A southwest patrol steps out from beneath the bridge and blocks your way. There he is. No one treads on my bridge without payment. All right. <laughs> Give me the full monkey. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Give me the full monkey. That's right. That's that's what I like to say. <laughs> uh, all right. So we want to give uh, now. Remember when we said the fee fi fo fu, and the 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 golden eggs like teleport back to the nest. Like we want to do that. So we give the golden eggs to the troll, and then we say the spell, and then they teleport, so you can get them back again. 
<laughs> I'm not worthy. Teletransport is the beginning of the game. Yeah, that's, that's also a classic. Build them eggs. All right, so do that. Cool. I think you can just say the spell now. Fee fi 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 fo fu. The golden eggs have vanished. Okay, good. And then like, we'll find them back at the at the nest. All right. So now we want to do the uh, the bear. Although there's there's also some spices in here that we can pick up, which is a treasure. So let's see. Let's admire the view. There you go. You see a breathtaking view. Far below lies an active volcano from which gobs of molten lava. Okay, surge we don't have time. We don't have time to listen to all that. Sorry. The glowing rock bathes the cavern with a blood red glare, feigning a macabre. There are rare spices here. All right, we got the spices. Sorry, I'm 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 kind of storming through this. All right, here's the bear. You're what? You're dr drilling holes for some shelves. Are you, are you, are you going to put some treasures on, on them? All right, okay, so uh, we're at the bear now. All right, so we want to feed the bear the tasty food. The tasty food, not eat it. There we go. The bear eagerly wolfs down your food, after which he seems to calm down considerably, and even becomes rather friendly. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with this uh, chain here. Look, it's supposed to be attached to the bear, but uh, it's it's kind of going. <laughs> it's like... There's uh there's something there's something not quite right uh ab about that but uh, but anyway so we we want to use key. use the keys to unlock the chain here then then we Set can drop the keys now we don't need them pick up there is a golden chain the golden a chain the floor. now we get the bear to follow us you're being followed by a very large tame bear. All right, come on. We, we want the bear to deal with the troll rather than giving the troll some more treasure. Does that say there? Come on, bear. Where, are, where are you? There you go. The troll steps out from beneath the bridge and blocks your way. <laughs> there you go. That's that's how you deal with a troll. All right. Now, um, uh, you you can send the the bear away here. Um, but uh, there was like one achievement that I didn't get where like the bear can like follow you across the bridge. So I want to see if that like if that happens here. So if if I just is it going to follow me across the bridge here? Oh, he, he, here here it comes. Uh, that was a mighty Damn! Kill. Like you like like you died from that. Like the like the bear the bear made the bridge oh, yeah. collapse. You seem to have been ousted from your adventure. I might be able to help, but I never. All right. Okay. Well, th th there you go. I got. I got that. I got that achievement for uh, for letting the bear go on the bridge. I, d I, d I didn't know you could do that. Hey, hey, Gideon. How, how's it? How's it going? Uh, did Did you just join the stream? Yeah, I'm still. I'm still streaming. I thought I'd be done by now. The sound that the troll makes. Oh, you mean like the scream? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, like the goat and carrot in King's Quest One. Like, like you can really feel the 
like the the influence which is why playing this game kind of made me feel like playing king's quest one again because that because it had like those same elements <laughs> i might be able to help loses points right yeah so, some some help well i mean you know that that's the price of uh the price of resurrection you know you thought resurrection was gonna be free <laughs> Let's do that bear part again. How is the game? Is it no? I wouldn't say it's. Ten, I I can't give it a ten out of ten. No. Um, I'd probably give it a seven or seven and a half to be honest. Uh, like there are some some issues, uh, with it. Wait, where where are we? Oh, okay, we're just here. So we we just have to tell the bear to go away. The bear is mildly hurt by your rejection. He wanders away dejectedly. Sorry, well, like, we just we gotta do the do the right thing for the bear, even, even if he's not happy about it. All right, so now we got uh, the spices and the gold chain. So we're just missing. Uh, all right, so we got the nugget, the jewelry, the coins, the silver, diamonds, treasure chest, pearl, vase on the pillow. We're, we're missing the emerald and the pyramid. And. Uh, we got to get the eggs back. And I I think that's it. That's and 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 that's it. So if if our, if our lantern doesn't run out, we actually have a a, a chance here. Ah oh, shit. Went the wrong way. That troll gives you nightmares? Is, is it really that scary? <laughs> I, I thought he was more kind of comical. 10 out of 10 for game preservation. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I, 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 can't, I can't fault it for that. Uh, okay, so we want to go... Oh, where, where's the... Uh, where's the emerald? Oh, it's, it's, it's there. It's like west. It's like all the way around there. I wonder if I should drop off the, the treasures and then come back for those. I'm going to drop the bottle because we don't need it. I think we can, we can just go for it. Hmm. Let's go southeast to the Orient Room and uh, let's do it. I, I think in this game you just kind of have to go for it, you know. Any what? Oh, any what? Disgusting back steps from the. What, what, what does that mean? <laughs> Imagine if the bear was the ultimate cheat code. You just take it around the cave, eats the random dwarves and the pirate. Yeah, that, that would be good. Yeah, yeah, it'd be, it'd be great having our own, like, you know, pet pet bear, like, to follow us around. That'd be great. All right, we want to, we want to go north here, and then we want to go uh, west. Okay, it's it's through this passage. This is one of the one of the few places we didn't go to. All right, now to get through here, you actually have to drop all of your items. Unfortunately, golden chain, brass lantern, including the lamp, rare spike, brass lantern. Dropping things you're carrying requires a nice, wide, flat place to put them. Huh? Is this not a flat surface? Brass lantern. Oh, there is a lamp. Sorry, I probably should turn it off. Uh... Brass. You have turned off the lantern. Right, okay. It is now pitch dark. If you proceed, you will most likely fall into a pit. Uh. Ah, okay, here we are. Here we are in the... Uh, this is called the Plover Room. 
that is an emerald here the size of a plover's egg. All right, so we get the emerald from here. And then there's the, the pyramid is here, but like in, in that dark room. But you need you need the lantern to get in there. You are in a small chamber lit by an eerie green light. An extremely narrow tunnel exits to the west. A dark corridor. That oh, backstab. Used. Yeah. Um, you're supposed to learn the plover spell in here, no? You are in a sp you are in a small chamber lit by an eerie green light. An extremely narrow tunnel exits to the west. A dark corridor leads northeast. I was sure you're supposed to learn the plover spell here, jo Joshua. Because you need the plover spell to kind of teleport out of here. And and oh oh my pants! Sorry, I didn't mean what you. I didn't realize what you meant, Joshua. That that's right. We actually have to go in here like totally naked. <laughs> Oh, you got to go in the dark room and come out. Okay, all right. It is now pitch dark. If you proceed, you will most likely fall into Th a pit. Thank you, Joshua. You hear the call of a plover. Jo jo Joshua's to totally ahead of me. Totally ahead of me here. All right, and what? Well, and and now now we use the plover spell, right? And then we have to go come all the way back. Oh no! Wait, hang on. How do we do? Sorry, how do, I, how, do, how do I do this, Joshua? Do I use the plover spell now, or do I go out, pick up all my stuff again, and... Hmm. Because I can't bring any items in here, can I? Hang on, sorry, let me just say. You hear the call of a plover. You feel a strange pulling sensation. Oh, you have to drop the the emerald though. Oh wait, sorry. You're supposed to go out, drop the emerald, go back it's dark in. Here. Where are you? Oh no, no, wait. Sorry, I did that wrong. I did that wrong. Yeah, sorry. Like we we need the lantern, don't we? Good good thing I saved that. Okay, so you gotta go out. Oh, the plue will put you in that room. I thought you needed to use like the plover spell or something. It is now pitch dark. If you proceed, you will most likely fall into a pit. There's my lantern. There's no use for that here. That is. There's nothing. Oh shit! I can't see my lantern. Nothing. Ha that won't work. <laughs> Wait, sorry. Let me load again. I probably should have left the lantern on, though. Let me grab the lantern before before it get, gets too dark. Quick, quick. It is now pitch dark. Grass. The lantern is now lit. There we go. Okay. All right. Now what? Do, do I want to just drop off? Do I want to drop some stuff off? Uh, like drop off these three treasures then? <laughs> Watching AGG play this offsets some of the frustration simply for the comedic value. Great, yeah. I, 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 I've got to, I've got to go through all, all the frustration just for your, for your entertainment. <laughs> It, it it is it is frustrating. It, it's frustrating because of the because of the time limit. If there wasn't so much of a time limit, you know, you could take your time and just kind of you know, it wouldn't be so much of an issue. But you always feel like you're you know you're against the clock, right? The clock which you can't really see. Uh, use bird. What use what the plover spell? What now? 
How do I drop my pants then? Can you, can you, is that is that like an Easter egg? Can I do that? Uh, what should I save on? I'll just save it. I can use the plover spell. I thought you can only you use it in the, in the plover. plover room. Nothing happens. No, you can't use it here though. Oh, when you're ready to get the pyramid. Okay, okay. So, so now, now I can just I can go back to the blue, the Y two stone, right? Let's uh, let's let's do that. Is there anything else if I can find it? Uh, what's the best way to go there? Northeast here. You've crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the main passage. Okay. Time is ticking away. Oh, the sales on Steam are not not very good. Oh, you got it for thirty bucks on Epic. How, how, how much was it on Steam? Like forty bucks. I think forty bucks is a, a little 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 pricey now. Where's, where's the ladder? Well, we're, we're still going. We're still going. We're still alive. Alright. Okay. So, can I, can I get the pyramid now? Plover. You hear the call of a plover. You feel a strange pulling sensation. Oh, does this now take me back to the plover room? You're in the plover room. Yeah. All right. Now, yeah, now we can get the. Oh, we got it. Okay, great, great, great. Here's the here's the the, the there is pyramid. A, you'd best start wrapping this up. No. You can find some fresh batteries. I seem to recall that there's a vending machine in the maze. Yeah, but I don't want to lose points for it. There is a platinum pyramid. Yeah, here. quick, pick it up. How do we pick it up? Oh. Okay. Let's plover out of here. You hear the call of a plover. You hear the call of a plover. Oh. You feel a strange pulling sensation. There was like an echo there. Okay, I might just have enough You're time. Back in the Y2 room. Now what? Plu? Can I can I plu here? Plu, plu. You feel a strange pulling sensation. You're back in the well house. Quick, turn, hey, turn grass, off the lantern. You have turned off the lantern. Golden chain. Place the golden chain. Platinum pyramid. 
rare spices, spices or excised emeralds. Emerald. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Am I missing a am I missing a treasure here? I'm missing like one treasure, no? What am I? Oh, it's shit. I, I miss, Oh, I didn't get the eggs. Oh, I, I, I didn't go back and, and, and get the and get the golden eggs. That's like the last thing. If only if only we had enough time, like to get run and get like the, the golden eggs, and then and then what? And then you just need to go to that like the the Spelunker magazine, right? Do I, do I have enough time for that? Inventory management. Yeah, it's, it's like, it's so difficult to keep track of it all. It's like, you got to be like, oh, okay, wait, now I have to go get this. I can't pick this up. You know, I need room for this. I need this item. Uh, maybe I should have got, I should have just got the, let's see if we can do it though. Let's see if we can do it. Clue, clue. I, you feel a strange pulling. I got to run and get the eggs. Or, or, or should I just go back to like the pl plover room and just kind of maybe I should go Stop back to the here. plover room and get the eggs. Where are you? Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm 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 going back one. Now I, I just got to remember to get the egg, uh, get the golden eggs as well. It is now pitch dark. Grass, the lantern is now lit. Yep. Okay. Good. Run. Yeah. Can we turn the grass lantern? Bloody left. lantern off. It is now pitch dark. No, it, it doesn't let you do grass it. Like, you have the lantern to have the thing is now on. lit. Maybe, maybe you can turn it off like in these caverns or something, but. It's kind of a pain, right? You, you got to keep doing that all the time. All right, we're done with the troll. Let's go southeast here. We want to go. Okay, let's go west here and grab the. Uh, the eggs. I can do this, right? Please, please, please tell me I can do this. <laughs> that won't work here. No, there's no use for that here. Climb, climb. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. This is this is, this is kind of stressful. I've been I've been doing this for three hours. Like I feel I feel kind of drained. All right, I'm trusting that the eggs is, are gonna be there. Yes. Okay, quick. What, what else do I need then? Oh, the pyramid? There is a gigantic beanstalk stretching all the way up to the hole. Where do, where do I go now? The uh, I gotta go to the Y two room and then and then transport into the plover room. Brad, golden eggs. Hmm. You 
best start wrapping this up. Oh, come on. Unless you can find some fresh batteries. I seem to recall that there's a vending machine in the maze. Bring some coins with you. <laughs> Always turn right. Yeah. If only it was that simple. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Just went, went back the way I came again. That won't work here. You see a sturdy ladder. Oh, sorry, sorry, it's, it's, it's Clover, isn't it? You're back in the well house. Wait, load. You hear the call of a Plover. You feel a strange pulling sensation. All right, come on, gra grab the pyramid and let, let's let's get out of here. You're in the plover room. There is a platinum pyramid here. You hear the call of a plover. You hear the call of a plover. I don't know why it repeat, you feel a repeats it twice. Sensation. You're back in the Y2 room. Eggs, feet, plu. Plu. You feel a strange pulling sensation. You're back in the well house. Pla dwarfs, grass, you have turned off the lantern. Rare spices. Golden eggs. Golden chain. Platinum pyramid. Egg-sized emerald. All right. Is that all the treasures? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 4, wait, hang on. There should be 15. Where are the eggs? Oh, they're up there. Wait, let me count again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's it. All right, so we got we got all the treasures. Um, Okay. So now what? Um, now to end. Now to end the game. Um, I think you have to go back in, and you you got to pick up that magazine, and then you have to go to this like uh, this the middle of this maze, and like drop the magazine or something. Uh. We got two two seventy five out of three fifty. Okay, I I'm I'm, wonder, I'm wondering if I have enough en enough time to do this. Like I like I would be so gutted if uh, Blue. like I I Blue. just ran out of time here. You feel a strange pulling sensation. Do I have to have my lantern on here? I guess so. It's dark here. Where are you? Brass. The lantern is now lit. I 
I just need to grab that mat like this magazine. It's like just down there. Uh, I gotta go west, west, down, and down. Come on. This, this is this is really really cutting it close here. Magazine is like just right down here. There's not much point in one. Oh no 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 no! No 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 no! Call it a day. It's like right there. I I just need just like a little bit more time. Thief, clue, clue. You feel a strange. Oh, uh, maybe turn the lantern. Yeah, I just gotta like conserve just a little bit more battery in the lantern. Like I, I'm like almost there. It's dark here. Where are you? Can't. Can I not? I really can't just navigate without the uh, lantern. <laughs> Sorry, I guess not. <laughs> Oh dear, you seem to be all right. <laughs> the excitement is killing you, really? Clue, clue. You feel a strange <sighs> pulling sensation. I can't believe this, like, trying to, like, go pick up a magazine before my lantern runs out. It's dark here. Brad, the lantern is now lit. Oh wait, I think I can take a shortcut. Here, it's it's There's nothing to do with it. It's here. right it's right here, it's right here. There's not much point. Oh! Here, and you can't explore the cave without a lamp. So let's just call it a day. The, the magazine is like right there. All right, well. Okay, well, anyway. Um so uh, basically, like like the way that you end the game is to um, like you got to pick up that magazine, then you go to this like the center of this maze, you got to drop the magazine, and I think you just kind of wait around in the maze until like it's over, and that's it. And then you get teleported to this like final room. I don't know why it's I don't know why it's not teleporting me though. Um. Anyway, all right. Well, I should probably leave it there. My 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 quest to uh my quest to get maximum points uh has obviously uh obviously failed. I I I still made it to Master Adventurer Class C. Um, so I I guess that's something. I I, I did do better. Like uh, you know when I played this game before. I, I don't know, I don't know why, but I'm just I'm running out of time here. Uh. And I, I was doing things pretty fast, I thought. So. Um, right, it runs out based on room entrances and exits. But like, I, 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 I'm sure I, I really didn't waste that. You know, I really didn't waste that much time. It, it, it almost feels like well, to get maximum points, you have to be, you have to be like a, like a speed runner, like like you know, like one sh one short eye, there. You know, like you see, like if one short eye would have would have no problem uh, getting maximum points here. I'm just, I, I think what this is proving is that I'm just not cut out to be a speedrunner of any kind at all. 
Like I, I, I think that's the le I think that's the lesson, uh, you know, to take from this. But yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it. Leave it. I, I, I don't have the energy to, to do another run or go back or whatever. But you know, I, I, I suggest that you, you play the game yourself. Um, yeah, see, see if see how you do. See if you can get maximum points. I did get all the treasures though. I got all fifteen treasures. So, you know, that's that's something, right? You know. Um. But there, but there you go. Yeah. So play play the game if you if you haven't already. See if see if you can get to the end. See if you can get maximum points and and and, and all that and do do better than I just did. So um, yeah. Like maybe maybe I'll use some footage from 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 this in 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 my review. This is why I wanted to do this now. Just to, just to you know play it again just uh, for the experience and uh, yeah, it was an interesting experience. Very very draining one. It's can 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 kind of kind of frustrating. That that lantern, you know. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, th thanks everyone for watching watching the stream. And uh, yes, I'm drained of my life essence now. I have to I have to go drink some more Lucas Aid or like you know eat eat something. But uh, all right. Okay. There you go. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> I'm I'm calling it a day. Thank you very much. Wait, how how do I stop the stream now? <laughs> Hang on. Oh, there it is. End stream. Okay. All right. All right. It's really time to end now. All right. Bye. Night. Morning. Whatever time it is there. Bye. <laughs>